team since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the tray boost and the deuce boost in my bubble goose. Now I got the Mac in my neck sack. Lounging black, smoking sacks up and axe and sidekicks with my sidekicks rocking fly kicks. Honey's wanna chat, but all we wanna know is where the party at. And can I bring my gat? If not, I hope I don't get shot. Better throw my best on my chest, cause niggas is a mess. It don't take nothing but front for me to start something. Bugging and fucking at niggas like I was fuck hunting. Dumbing out just me and my crew, cause all we wanna do is party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party. It's that time again. Oh, it's that time again. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, everybody. Look, before we get started, before we get started, before I come on camera, we're going to set up a ground rule for this uh, for this wing nut roundup, all right? You guys, you get five minutes, okay? You get five minutes to tease me about the hair. Now, I don't want to hear any lazy burns like, you look like Guy Fieri, or Jeff, you look like Sugar Ray. Now, I want some creativity. I want some true creativity. I want you to put your thinking caps on and think of the most creative ways to give me a nice, healthy burn about my ridiculous hair, okay? All right, let's go. Soak it in, everybody. Soak it in. It's okay. It's all right. Soak it in. It's radiant. I know. It's incredible. It's something you never thought you'd see before and probably never will again, to, if I'm being honest, because I don't think I could use this disguise again. Uh, well, <clears throat> Jeff, why are you blonde? Not everybody knows why I am currently blonde. Ooh, ooh. But I'm going to explain. So, like I said, five minutes. You guys got like four minutes left to, to get your cracks in. And then we're moving on. We're getting on with the Wingnut Roundup. We can't be too focused. Laugh if you like. I kind of like it. Look, ever since I've been ever since I've been blonde, I get some real nice looks from the ladies out and about in the town, all right? So, it might be a bit troubling, but there are some good silver linings to it. So, why am I blonde? I'm blonde because, as I mentioned earlier... Uh, on my channel, I had aspirations, aspirations, aspirations to go and infiltrate, 
an anti-vaxxer convention, but I couldn't let them know what I looked like because these are people like Dr. John Bergman, Polly Tommy, Patrick Dentempo, uh, people from Infowars, people who I have made videos on and they know what I look like. So I had to like go overboard in trying to hide who I was. So my video on CalJam will be coming out soon, but it's a lot of work. But I do have a promo and I'm going to show it to you guys right now. Which one was it? It's this one. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Here's a promo, just cut it. I hope you like it. Cal Jam, short for California Jam. A seemingly innocuous and niche convention held every year in Southern California. According to their website, this convention has existed since 2007 when Billy DeMoss, chiropractor, wanted to blend a rock concert with a health-focused TED Talk style convention. Simple, right? On closer examination, Cal Jam is not simply a health convention. It's a trade convention for a specific profession, chiropractors. And while I've had in the past reason to be concerned with the behavior of some chiropractors, Nothing notable should have alerted me to this convention in specific until I saw this. One of the questions that we engaged in with the CDC some years ago and in the US Congress was why if so many children get the vaccine then why are relatively few of them, at least until now, rendered autistic? The timing, as you know, is everything and the hypothesis that we put forward to the CDC in 2001 is that it was timing. Is it possible that the younger you get the MMR vaccination the greater the risk of autism? That is infamous anti-vaxxer Andrew Wakefield giving a keynote speech to thousands of people at CalJam in 2016. Why was an anti-vaxxer there? Andrew Wakefield is not a chiropractor. On further investigation, it became clear. This is not a random mistake, but a systematic pattern of various guests discussing dangerous and unproven pseudoscience to thousands of people in attendance who claim to be health professionals. Something was rotten at CalJam. There was no other option. I had to know for myself, so I got a little bit of crowdfunding together, and I went, undercover, at CalJam. Coming soon, baby, coming soon. Coming soon. Um, so, like, I get the get, get your last little licks in about the hair now because uh, I gotta tell you, uh, deal was the deal. I didn't spend any money on the whole costuming like I spent way too much to change myself to look like something that I don't like to pretend to be somebody that I am not to be around people that I despise so that I could understand and make this video and honestly it was probably one of the worst weekends of my life if I'm being totally honest with you guys it was one of the worst weekends of my life and it was awful. It was really shitty. I, I had a really hard time like pulling my, my, my heart, my brain out of the fucking gutter after experiencing it. But, but, today, today is the Wingnut Roundup. Welcome everybody to the Wingnut Roundup for February 2020. It is time. It is time. After quite possibly one of the worst months of my entire fucking life. I get a chance to spend some quality time with you and some wing nuts. All We're gonna have some fun. I've created in the whoop, solar system whoop. are doing very well. Let's try this again. Looks like all you need is a shish asterisk TTY spray tan and a Brooklyn accent to finish your cosplay. True. You know what's funny about that, okay? And here's the thing. Uh, we're not gonna focus on this too long. I'm gonna read these stream labs because you guys have some pretty good comments. Um, I did get spray tanned. I did. I absolutely got spray tanned. 
Uh, I've, I've have like video from the whole shenanigans. Like it's absolutely crazy. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, I did get a lot of complaints after January's roundup that there was a lot of times that the show seemed to get interrupted by the text to speech that is cranked up to 20. If it's still too disruptive, I mean, you know, we want to make sure we're all having fun. We're all having a good show. Nothing gets too disruptive. Uh, so we'll, we'll just play it by ear. Uh, let's see. You know what? <clears throat> choo choo. All right. So <laughs> let me uh, catch up on the Israel Asami. Have a good stream, Jeff. Thank you so much. ID Peace Boa. So ready for this roundup. Me too. Mad Evil Genius. Morning, Jeff from Australia. I've been looking forward to this all week and desperately needed my wing nuts. Thanks to awful week. Anyway, let's do this. All right, Kurt says, hey, Jeff. How uh, much love? From Other Snowed in New Brunswick. In the solar system are doing Ooh. very well. Steven says, no better way to celebrate a new job than catching the roundup live and having a couple beers in the process. Lots of love to you and memory. Thanks so much, buddy. Lots of love to you. Arbe Kirk says, stay gold, pony boy. Other planets that <laughs> are created in the solar system are doing very well. Mad Evil Genius, you look fabalabas tapping into your gay side. Maybe a little. I mean, I mean, I mean, I think my gay side might just be like part of my whole side. I'm pretty gay. Uh, Kepper of the Deep. Jeff, you look like you just got pissed on. Ooh. Um, no, I'm good. If you know me, I'm, I'm not big on the pee-pee. Blue Fairy says, happy leap day. Thank you so much. Uh, Moose, again, thank you so much for that second one. Mormon Jesus. Damn, Miley Yiannopoulos really let himself go. Ah, that's a good one, okay? That one's fair. Caleb, Jeff from the 90s is worse, Jeff. Skylark song. Look like a surfer douche got his tanning privileges revoked. Well, the spray tan fell off, dude. It doesn't last very long. I do have some funny footage of me getting spray tan, though. Uh, Justin Wagman, can you give us your best Lance voice? Oh, that's the other thing. I had to change my name. When I was at the anti-vaxxer conference, I wasn't Jeff Holiday. I was Lance Conrad. And Lance was just a lot more bright and maybe, like, ended everything kind of as a question, you know? And I just wanted you to know, Polly Tommy, that I think, like, you're kind of a hero. Um, Actually, shit, you know what? I kind of want to show you guys that. So we so we don't get it twisted. So we understand ourselves exactly how in deep and how effective what I did was. Uh, here. Uh, that, that is a picture of me and Polly Tommy at CalJam uh, embracing for a selfie. Just just so we don't get it twisted, like, your boy went in deep. I infiltrated deep, all right? That that sounds like I'm insinuating something else, but I'm not. I promise. It's just, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway. Dr. Satakoy says, the do, that do is an express train to flavor town. Hey. Ray Alexandra Carmack didn't know I'd be watching Draco Malfoy today, but I'm still here. I'm buckled in for the next two hours. Liam, hey Jeff, first live roundup, and I've got a wonderful bottle of larceny here to get me through it. From an adult who survived being raised under anti-vax slash pro-homeopathy parents, what you really do means a lot. Cheers. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. As much as, like, there's a big clown aspect to this whole thing, uh, I have never felt more focused and more driven to do what I do now than since I went to Cal Jam. Seeing like 2,500 chiropractors that families trust as their medical professionals, all giving standing applause to anti-vaxxers like Robert F. Kennedy Jr., I have never been more focused in my life. It was worth it. It was torture, but it was worth it. Zidane says, snacks and beer are ready. Let the wingnuts be crazy. Looking great, Pineapple Daddy Jeff. I like that one. That one's good. And Enchanted Wolf, Crack a new bottle of Crack and Rum for this. Let's go crazy. All right. <clears throat> I did get some uh, mail in the mailbag. However, all of it was private this month. So we're not going to be dealing with that. Uh, my one little bit of shilling I allow myself. You can go to BrainForceSideEffects.com. Get yourself a chia stored in the balls or the Wingnut Roundup or Healing with Hemlock t-shirts. Uh, they're apparently on sale. I didn't do that, but apparently... Yeah, apparently they're on sale for like the next 10 hours. That's weird. I totally didn't do that. Anyway, starting off the roundup for this month. Are you guys ready? Are we ready to really get into some crazy ass wing nuts? Let's fuck around. Let's have some damn fun. You know what? 
I've got a sack of wine on a bungee cord. This is how this is the kind of roundup we're in store for right now, people. I'm blonde. I'm drinking wine on a bag on rope. Let's get crazy. Let's get crazy. Oh god. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be discussing the treatment of the coronavirus. So we're going to be looking at what we have been told and also some natural remedies that we know are actually antiviral. So first of all, what are the medical industries and organizations saying? So here's what they say on their websites. There is no antiviral treatment and there is no vaccine. Patients are recommended to go to the hospital, obviously with the coronavirus, and the treatment they will receive is fluids within a drip and pain relievers and normal cold and flu medicine. Right, the National Institute of Health is working on a vaccine, but the testing is to begin with a few months, and then even when there's testing, it's got to go on for three months or six months before they can actually roll it out to people. So, basically, so as is always the case with every single month, the roundup starts a little bit slow. This is a marathon. It's not. It's not a race. Um, this this gentleman has some rather interesting ideas on how we can treat the coronavirus uh, naturally, since the vaccine's not available yet. No cure as of right now. These are the main natural antivirals. So we actually know that these things work as an antiviral and some people even argue that they're actually better than antibiotics as well mm. so yeah let's get into them number one colloidal silver number obviously that's i look <clears throat> they're very specific hard-hitting things that you know are going to be in any wingnuts toolkit when they're trying to deal with a plague colloidal silver is right up there, right next to your piss enema bag, of course. Number two, oregano and oregano <laughs> oil. So it's the same thing, but some people use the oil and some people use the whole oregano. Right, curcumin. Now, curcumin is actually in turmeric, and to boost the curcumin levels, you have black pepper and turmeric together, and that boosts the curcumin levels. Really, really powerful antiviral. <laughs> Licorice root, garlic, and ginger. Now, that's the main antivirals. Now, phytonutrient antivirals, so these are things that are in foods and they're a phytonutrient, but I've just categorized the ones that are an actual antiviral. So, queer city. Oh, colloidal silver, that's why it's blue. I didn't even pick up on that. See, this is why I gotta watch these videos with you guys. You're so fucking clever. You catch on things that I don't even remember. Uh, the whole big thing is if you overdose yourself on colloidal silver, you'll turn blue. Like that big Papa Smurf motherfucker dude who was like on all the talk shows. Tin, alkaloids, terpenoids, carotenoids, organosulfur. So look out for them. And now what I'm going to also think of, what else do we need? A good immune system. So you should always have a good immune system, but when you've got an infection and a serious one, you should have a really, really high immune system. So what can we do for that? Well, we get the herbs in, the amazing herbs, astragalus. If you don't if you don't get your herbs into your immune system, your immune system is a bad immune system. Echinacea, oh. andrographis, ginger, garlic again, easy, we've all got them, and reishi. So if you can get somebody else ones like echinacea, astragalus, and reishi, you're on right up there. Your immune system's loving that. It's waking it up and it's keeping it strong. That's amazing. I try and I try and wake my immune system up with coffee, but it never works. Uh, I just wanna I, I just wanna give a big shout out to this this channel. Stay extra virgin health, nutrition, and lifestyle uh, for for giving us the toolkit in order to survive the coronavirus. Uh, you sir, you're doing the Lord's work. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, I forgot to turn back on the Shivambu uh, transition. That's not good. We got to do that. There we go. Much better. Look, I don't know about you guys. I might look a little bit like a clown right now, but I think I look like kind of a sexy dirtbag Hunter S. Thompson clown. I think they could make it even better as if I'm like... Boop, boop. I don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> What's next? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... There's a couple more, uh, couple more spicy takes on the, on the dew. 
Do, 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 do. Uh, Tacey, could please you and Mems officiate our wedding? Um, if it's not that far to travel, I have officiated many weddings. I'm actually very good at it, so I would love to. Uh, right, Shka? Jeff looked better when he was black. I agree. I think I looked a lot better when I was black. Uh, Emmy Vell? Oh. Hey, Jeff. Love you and all you do. Hope that you are well. First time catching the Roundup Live. Glad hey. I could be here. Also, I seem to have missed you dyeing your hair, lol. I had to go undercover. There was no other options. Um, but thank you. I'm glad you're here. I really appreciate it. Um, Emmy Val, hey Jeff, been having pain flares and stressed out, so glad to catch you live for the second time. Hope you're having a great time. Uh, Daddy Blonde, I'm doing my best. The original spa I'm just happy to be here with you guys. The original spaz and low Jeff Holiday's dignity died for our sins. But behold, for on the 29th of February, it rose again. Indeed it did. Uh, Macy, huh, I use oregano and garlic as just about everything, but I still get sick a lot. Maybe it's a mindset thing. I, I don't know, man. It could be anything. Maybe you're not tithing to the right demons. Mad Evil Genius, my god, you are drinking out of a goon bag. You're now a true Aussie now. Welcome to Aussie hood, mate. Appreciate it. Brian Finlay, have you heard Owen Benjamin has started drinking turpentine? Oh. I hope he changes his mind. Uh, Warlord2080, virgin, how do you stay extra virgin? I don't know. Chat, how would one stay extra virgin? All right, so this next one, we're not going to focus on too terribly much because it's it's what we've come to expect. But he's kind of like a mascot for the Roundup at this point, and I just wanted to watch just a little bit of this because it's fun. And we're just getting started. We're we're easing ourselves into the wing nuts. Siobhan Boo! All right. One's warm hat. This is a video that you should send to people that believe in koalas. I just, I can I, can I, can we just... I love the way he starts all of his videos. He, like, he doesn't even pronounce his name anymore. He just goes like, Hans Warpa? Listen to this. Hans Wormhat? Hans Wormhat? This is a video that you should send to people that believe in koalas. Other planets that I I've used to believe in koalas, in the but system, there actually was well. a time where I didn't believe in koalas. And I'll get to that at the end. Because sometimes when you wake up to truth, what helps you wake up are memories that you've held on to since childhood. And I have that with koalas. Not everybody's going to have it, but I do. And I want to keep this video short just as a very introductory thing. If this video picks your interest in any way and you want to know more, I have many videos on koalas. So I don't want to reinvent the wheel. Look at this from Nat Geo. Does that look like a real animal or CGI to you? Now, this is something that happens with fake animals, fake animals a lot of times. When you go Google search for koala, you will get so many studio quality images, just like this one, like perfectly framed, huge shots where the subject is being interactive, being cute, funny, whatever. Koalas are supposed to be endangered and they're supposed to just sleep all the time. How are we getting so many portraits, like beautiful studio quality portraits of these animals? Try to find studio quality photos of squirrels and see how many you get, <laughs> or skunks, or something like that. And then compare it to things like koalas. Go look at how many studio quality things of orangutans. <laughs> and it starts to be very suspicious. Why do they have so many photos? And then just start looking with your eyes, really. I d look. <laughs> there is never... Look. <laughs> Listen. Every time I look at a koala, I'm suspicious. Look at them. Do they look trustworthy to you? Weird little teddy bear looking motherfuckers with the little poofy ass fucking ears. Nah, I don't trust them. They look suspicious. Every koala I've ever seen in my life looks like they're hiding something. You ever see a picture of a wet koala? Looks like a fucking gremlin, dude. It's I don't, dude. You can't. Mm. 
do not trust koalas. Don't turn your back on a koala. Fuck. <laughs> like, really, what are you, are you looking at an animal here? Or does this look like CGI to you? Why would they need to use CGI for something like a koala if koalas were real? Well, they aren't real. <laughs> koalas are one of those animals, if you go back in time, they look different. Like, what the heck? Other koala? planets that I've created koala? in the solar system. So that's one well. check mark that koala. Okay. Nah, fuck it. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. It definitely hits. I love Hans. Go back in time. It doesn't look the same. You get the... This is the same thing for gorillas. Gorillas are just actors in fursuits. Go back in time. They don't look the same. Right. Even zebras. They used to paint them slightly different. And... Look at this. That's not an animal. This is from the modern, just happened <laughs> fires in Australia. How many stories did they push about koalas? There were stories nearly every day. I mean, at least on Reddit and stuff, there were stories every day about koalas. And koalas aren't even a real animal. It's a big inside joke. Look at that. Is that a real animal or is that a puppet? <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, god damn, I love Hans Wormhat. He's so, he's, look, he's so special. I'm not really either. I, am I CGI? I don't know. I can neither confirm nor deny this allegation, Senator. Um, <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. The, the, I didn't actually get my, my hair did. Uh, we just uh, clicked and dragged on the slider. That's all it was. Does that work a little bit better? That's not bad. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. All right, not bad. <clears throat> um, I I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally convinced. I uh, I've never been more sure of anything in my life than uh, those koalas aren't real. That's obviously like a, it's a puppet, like Yoda, right? It has to be. <laughs> um, do 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 do. -do. Taste K, we live in the UK, but 100% would make it happen. I mean, I, I'm, if everything goes according to plan, uh, my next big project after I'm done editing and putting out the Cal Jam video is to make something where I will have to travel around quite a bit, and UK is one of those places. I don't know if it's gonna, gonna align so I can, you know, officiate your wedding, but that'd be great. Silver Fang, yeah, I didn't know I was. Colloidal me was a natural remedy. I drink me. That's fair. Uh, Neil Gibbous says, Hi, Jeff and Mems. Happy Leap Roundup. I get to watch the whole thing. If we started with the Smurf drug, and that's the light stuff, I think I need real booze for the end. Oh, no. I was telling everybody. They were like, should I get the good booze out for this? I'm like, oh, no. Oh, kiddo. Like, okay. <clears throat> Let's just be honest. You need the bad hooch for this one, okay? We're going... We're going into real weird territory with this one. We're, we're diving deep into the psyches of the wingnuts. This month. Other planets that I've created in the solar system are doing very well. Uh, Chana says droughts don't exist either. I knew that one. Mad Evil Genius, koalas are psychotic bastards and clap infested. Oh shit. Risha, some folks clearly have no idea how much material has to be shot in order to get awesome shots like that. Also, they look different back before photos because some people were shitty artists. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very true. Uh, learning learning photography and videography and, and lenses and composition is something that I've been having to learn very quickly um, with what I'm trying to do. JC Gaming says, Chad is CGI. I knew that. I'm sorry, Wilson. Captain Jeff, Jake Paul's boat is Photoshop CGI. Fair. Charlene, I'm gonna, these people wouldn't stand a second in my critical thinking class, and there are anti-vaxxers in that class too. Uh, I call they're gonna drop out because the tiny minds can't handle the anecdotes, empirical data. Also, the drop bears, not koalas. That's, that's what I've heard. And we'll get those next two after this next video. We got one more about the coronavirus, and then we're gonna drop that whole topic for the entire roundup, because I don't wanna I, you know what I you know what I thought about for a while I thought about it'd be kind of interesting to do a roundup solely on 
the conspiracy theories surrounding the coronavirus. Uh, so I spent a whole day this last week looking up all the different conspiracies surrounding corona, and none of them are entertaining. All of them are really sad and really annoying and really exhausting and wouldn't make for a good stream at all. So I was like, nah, dude, it's nah. We're, we'll just we'll just skip that. Here we go. Hey everybody, Josh Sirtson, a world alternative me. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I'm deaf now. Wow. Media here, and we are. Ah, it's still loud. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Joined by the one, the only, Dell Big Tree. And first of all, thank you very much for joining us today. Absolutely, it's great to be here. Well, one of the number one things I've been hearing lately, and uh, you have, of course, as well, is. Wuhan, coronavirus, uh, plagues, you know, contagions, and all this kind of stuff. And uh, one thing I, I, I can't help but think about is, is it fear-mongering, or is it not being played up enough? Is it, is it being used as a bioweapon? I wanted to hear your thoughts on uh, the realities of this coronavirus. Yeah, I don't know. I Whoever sound mixed their video must think, like, when, you're, when, you're, when your sound level gets into the red, that's like the starting level and then you just gotta like that that you gotta you gotta make sure it gets all the way to fill that meter and that's like your low right that's your low on your audio because that sucked dude that hurt really bad i'm sorry about that guys jesus it... blame blame world alternative media all right it wasn't me it wasn't me virus outbreak versus at the same time, these massive flu epidemics that are happening around the world at the same time. What, what do you think? Well, I think, first of all, I approach, I'm, I'm a journalist. And so, you know, one of the things I try to do is get multiple sources for any of the thoughts that I have. Uh, but, you know, in a situation like this, Other I think that what I think is an issue is who's asking the questions and are they asking the right questions? You know, and, and that's what I really, when we're watching mainstream media now, it's like any instance like this, I just feel like there's more intelligent questions to be asked. They're not being asked. You know, I, I report all the time the fact that mainstream media is funded by pharma. I mean, that's, you have to... Well, obviously, obviously, uh, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, they're all funded and owned uh, by big pharma <clears throat> trademark. The, 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 the overall world-spanning corporation of big pharma... Uh, they own all the news media, uh, and, and they're the ones that control the reporting. Which is weird. Because you would think, if, if, if there was any logic to this whatsoever, you would think that the fossil fuel industries, who have way more money than the, the pharmaceutical industries, could then pay them to not let the news reflect things on like climate change but like it just it just slipped their minds did i just let the cat out of the bag oops i mean why 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 in the in the name of sweet bacon covered christ would anybody interview dell big tree about virology or or anything related to health whatsoever the dude holds no medical degrees at all He's got like a borderline InfoWars style Facebook talk show. You have to wrap your head around that. You know, when you're watching those ads, you know, in, you know, in the commercial breaks, you know, between, doesn't matter if it's CNN, Fox, MSNBC, you know, whoever you're Other watching, it's I all pharma ads. That, that means that that news anchor well. is technically working for the pharmaceutical institution in many ways. So no. you have to know you're not getting the full picture. You're getting a biased perspective of the story. Now, coronavirus, when this whole thing first came out, you know, I was kind of laughing to myself. Coronavirus is a cold. I mean, it's the common cold, right? And, you know, yet we're freaking out. No. Not even, what? No. How in the fuck is the coronavirus a common cold? Is this, okay. And this is this is what's really interesting. Uh, I, I, I don't know about you guys. I, I hate talking about politics on this channel. I try and avoid it as much as possible. Um, but depending on which which political aspect could be served by it people will talk about the coronavirus in different ways some people will think like it's more advantageous for us politically to talk about it being the worst thing ever 
uh, or some people think it would be more politically advantageous if we say it is just the common cold. And there are so many reasons and ways to argue it that I, I can't find any coherent like structure. If you're this political ideology, you'll think this way or that way. It's really weird. But Dell, I have a sneaky suspicion, believes that this is all being hyped up to push people into getting vaccines, to be more accepting of vaccines. I would bet. Out, like there's, there's this, all this energy around it, all these discussions. And so I was kind of on the fence, you know, on the side where I usually am, which is they hype these things up. There's probably a vaccine that's ready to go and they're just going to try and sell us a vaccine. But the more I looked into it, and and what really sort of shifted for me was when I started seeing the CDC and World Health Organization saying, whoa, 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 whoa. let's all just calm down a minute. You know, right now the CDC is saying, you know, in America, this is really just 80% of people, it's like a common cold. When the CDC starts telling everybody to calm down, I get nervous because I watch them time and time again, like you said, hype up one case of measles and call it an outbreak. I mean, we see it all the time. Hype up, you know, a flu or a flu shot. I mean, they're into sensationalizing so that we all... Oh, the mainstream media is into sensationalizing. Holy shit. Wow. So when Del Bigtree goes to like, say, I don't know, Harlem or Compton or, or, or uh, Rockford, uh, New York, and he starts talking about how uh, the pharmaceutical industry is intentionally trying to commit a genocide on people on marginalized minority communities. That's not him just blowing things out of proportion. He's being very even tempered. Okay. Like, look, All right, he gets... I, I'm not giving Dell that much time on the roundup. He gets 23 more seconds. We'll sign up for a vaccine program, take whatever drugs are out there. I mean, if you, you got to see the CDC is really, in many ways, it's an advertising arm for the pharmaceutical institutions. Rocket. They're right. so interlocked now that you can't really separate them. So when I see them, like, pumping the brakes, then I jump into a different perspective. What's really going on here? And then that's really what is going... What's really going to get my numbers up for people watching The High Wire with Del Bigtree? Yeah, scummy piece of shit, man. Um, let, let's, let's just... We'll just do like a little bit of a public service announcement here real quick, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say that uh, everything is totally peachy keen with the coronavirus or anything like that. Of course, there's reason to be concerned. Of course. But there's no reason to panic. Not at all. Not at all. It is a very serious thing, but it's also not any reason to be panicking. It's a reason to engage on good behaviors. Wash your hands. Try not to touch your face. If you know that there's going to be a, a, a situation where you might be among a large group of people and somebody might have it, uh, don't tongue kiss each other. I don't know. Uh, maybe lay off orgies for a few months until this whole thing dies down. You'll probably be fine, okay? Um, if you look at this historically speaking towards things like, say, H1N1, H1N1 killed over 150,000 people, upwards maybe even to, I think somebody said it, one estimate was like anywhere from between a quarter to half a million people. Um, very sad. In fact, friends of mine had friends who died from H1N1. We're nowhere near that yet. We're nowhere near that yet. Nobody panic. Just be aware and stop tongue kissing strangers and, you know, maybe don't go to the glory hole this month or something. I don't know. <clears throat> so I have, I, mm, I have this one and it involves an egg, but I think I'm going to put this one off for a little bit. I think we're going to scoot that one further down the line in the roundup rotation. Instead, we're gonna go to... Ooh, ooh, I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. Let me let me catch up on Streamlabs real quick and then we'll get to this one. Um... <laughs> Number theory, 3434. Anyone tell you that you sound just like Mark Hamill's Joker when you laugh? Thank you very much, that's very nice. I like that, that's cool. Mark Hamill, look, there's a lot of people who've done great jobs playing the Joker. Uh, throughout history, Mark Hamill is my Joker. He will always be my Joker. As much as I love the other ones. Mm. 
But that's because Batman the Animated Series is quite possibly the, the greatest superhero medium ever put out there aside from comic books. Can we can we all agree on that? Like, it's the best? It's pretty much the best? Aaron Fisher, having flashbacks to Eric Salvia's pineapple phase, Jeff. Glad I was able to tune into your stream to hear dumb stuff about koalas. Definitely a way the way I want to spend my Saturday afternoon. You're welcome, and I'm glad you're here. Where she went next? Don't tell this guy about the platypus. Heidi Peace Boa. Other planets that I've created Ooh. in the solar system are doing very well. Why do wingnuts not understand audio at all? I don't know. We've been dealing with this for for years now at this point. Sniglom. Good evening, Jeff. So nice with another roundup. Bring them on. Dizzy Dream. Hey, Jeff. Loving the blonde. Always happy to see a roundup and upcoming vids. Do you mind if I ask why you are off Twitter? Thanks for your hard work. Um, look, I'm neither going to confirm nor deny whether or not I am back on Twitter. I will say that if you do find the Twitter that I allegedly am using, you should definitely not follow it because I am a different person. I'm very, very mean on that platform, and I'd rather you remember me fondly and not think of me uh, as being a mean old jackass um <clears throat> the lily cat working on okami cosplays and watching it hell yeah madoka star punch sorry i'm late to the party but i'm here now love the server server bra bleach by the way isn't a little early for halloween it is never too early for halloween megan anderson hey jeff huge fan i'm a ceramic student i would love to make you a custom vase mug whatever let me know if you're interested i'd love a, a mug i would love to drink some booze out of a mug that you make on the roundup. That would be fucking awesome. Ayana Forrest, good day, Jeff. Have to go to work now, but thank you for the roundup so far. Have some of my Aussie dollars for your blonde hair. Isn't it dollary dues? That's like the legal tender, right? Dollary dues. Heather Stiltson, almost done. Thanks to the coronavirus, it's hard to get iPhones at my job and having to explain why to every customer sucks. That does. And Jabster, hey, Jeff. Love the roundup. Got some cheap vodka and some snacks ready. Let's do this. Make it a good one. I will. I will. I will make it a good one. We're going to have a lot of fun. Let's go. Let's go. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. He's the man, Bob Larson, the real exorcist. Somebody said I should go to one of these to, to try and go fuck with them. Here's the thing you gotta understand. When you're talking about Bob Larson, the real exorcist, all these people in this seminar paid over $500 to be there. Okay? Like, we, we can laugh at Bob Larson all fucking day. And I'm very... I... <laughs> okay? I'm very comfortable laughing at Bob Larson. I'll laugh at him all fucking day. But this dude... This fucking dude is making fat stacks of cash off this shit, all right? 500 bucks a fucking pop for people to attend. That includes the people, if they're volunteers, who are also saying they're possessed. And if not enough people are saying they're possessed, he just gets, like, probably a crisis actor or something? Probably. You sure made something, man. <laughs> Amber, hey. What? All that from a sweet little Dutch girl. <laughs> Amber 
is 40, single, and a Christian. She has Dutch, Irish, and Scottish ancestry. Her ancestors were very active in druid witchcraft. She's been working with the local DWJD team to remove the demons, but after seven violent sessions, including her breaking furniture, they convinced her to come on Bob's seminar. You do know that one time the Dutch controlled the world. If you're that not that's if you're what? If you're not Dutch, you're not much. That's exactly it. <laughs> not Dutch, you're not much. They held the purse strings to the world. Most people don't know. The American Revolution was financed by the Dutch. Benjamin Franklin. Went I like how they're, they're like, look, we're we're in the middle of an exorcism. I'm gonna give you guys a history lesson because as much as I love uh, destroying demons, I, I also I'm a big big history guy, big history guy. Did you know? Went to Holland and. Saved the bankers of Holland for the money to finance the American Revolution or we would have lost. And you want to know something about the Dutch and their demons? It's all about the guilt and mammon. You meet him yet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I met, I met that demon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? No. Okay. I love exorcism videos. This is not the only exorcism video that we're watching today. So, I mean. Get out, demon! Of course, we're going to watch some Edson Janelli later. Um, but uh, who... Whomst? Whomst is the kind of person who... <laughs> Just in conversational speaking is like, oh, yeah, no, I'm very familiar with that one specific demon. Yeah, no, I look, I, Mammon, Mammon, the demon, uh, Satan's Satan's child who's all about greed uh, and profit. Uh, no, dude, I know that guy. I've run into him like a couple of times. I see him down at the supermarket all the fucking time, right? You know, <laughs> who talks like that? Who? I want you to say whatever it was, whatever it was. That got antagonized tonight. That got antagonized tonight. And caused me to be so violent. And caused me to be so violent. I want it gone. I want it gone. You want it gone. This is just your ancestral stuff. <laughs> You've been awfully calm. Why are you being so calm? Is that confidence or elusiveness? Avoidance? Or bravado? Which is it, huh? Is he flirting with her? You tell me, Jezebel. Which is it? Jezebel. <clears throat> you give me the answer. What is it? What is it? Boy, for a little gal, she is strong. Oh, yes, very strong. <laughs> what is it, Jezebel? What didn't they get? Answer me! Get your eyes open and look at me. I command you by Christ. What didn't they get? Answer me! Look at me! You want me to take this sword and stick it through you? Oh, no! No, he's going to put the Bible in her butt. This is the problem that we had the last time we watched a Bob Larson video. He likes to put the Bible in people's butts. It's very... Look, it's very troubling. It's very, very troubling. Huh? Do you? Is that what you want, Jezebel? You want it? Yeah, do you want this sword stuck inside you? Is that what you want, Jezebel? Is that what you're, is that what you're here for? Is that what you're looking for? You want to get the sword stuck? <clears throat> no. The sword, spirit. Oh. No. Oh. Okay, I don't know if he's actually putting it in her butt this time, but I think he's spanking her with the Bible. He's at least spanking her with the Bible. Come on, Jill. Torment you. What is the unbroken curse and evil that they have not yet found? Answer me. 
This is getting sexy, dude. This is getting weird. Like, okay, I know that we're supposed to be witnessing a brave warrior in Christ fighting to save the soul of a woman who is trapped by an extra planar entity that's trying to torment her and take over her 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 I immortal soul. I get that. I get that. But like other planets that I've created in the solar system are doing great. She's held all up in bondage with her chest all thrust out lewdly and lasciviously while he's all very intimately and close in. Listen to me, Jezebel. Are you ready for the sword to be thrust through you? This is really fucking me up. This is really, really gross. I think it is foreplay for the exorcist. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Uh, we'll go just a little bit longer. It's a, it's getting kind of uncomfortable. If I'm being honest, I'm getting a little uncomfortable, guys. So one of these or another. Answer me. What is it? Answer me. Joseph Smith. Oh, boy. <laughs> She's got Mormons and her ancestry, right? Joseph Smith Jr. Ah. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what that. No, I don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't. Her grandfather helped build the Mormon church. So, Jezebel, your spirit of child rape. <laughs> And lust and perversion. <laughs> sacrifice. And sacrifice. Well, you got that from the Masons, didn't you? Uh, look, I, oh, this goes on for a little bit longer, but it's not really the end of the story. Uh, to see the full story, you're going to have to go and check out Bob Larson's uh, profile on Pornhub. Um... Yeah, Mormons. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the ancestral Mormons. Uh, look, it it just things get things things get a little crazy when you start going cross denomination. And Bob Bob's just trying to like he's just trying to keep up. Okay, uh, he's doing his best here. <laughs> I love it. I love I love exorcism videos. I know in the past I've gotten like too hung up on them and I'll watch exorcism videos for way too long, but they're so fascinating to me. They're so great. Um, do, 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 do. Tempest, Tempest TV, I will not go to the GHU, not my real daddy. Oh, Amelia Osk Tomas Dutir. I just joined. Is that a blonde wig or did you dye it? I had to bleach it. I went undercover. Dizzy Dream, thank you for being honest about Twitter. Uh, yes, no, uh, by all means, uh, don't, if you find my Twitter, don't follow it. I'm a jerk on Twitter. Uh, Schlagman. Jeff, can you please give a shout out to my girlfriend, Jen, who loves watching this as much as I do, and say, Choodle Pants. Hope you and Mems are doing well. That is not the first time you've asked me to say that word. Choodle Pants. I remember uh, Megan Genetis, when I see that at my day job, I get the meds ready. Fair. Mimi says, he does know that Psalms is used in hoodoo all the time and has a ton of curses in it, right? I don't think Bob Larson really quite understands the, uh, the finer, uh, aspects of, um, Catholic voodoo. Amelia Osk Tomas Dottir. Me usually watches Roundup in the morning after, cause time zones... Uh, let me pause this live stream so I don't miss Jeff's commentary. Hmm. Mad Evil Genius, no doubt this is foreplay for this exorcist. I agree. And Randomness says, hey, Jeff, can I get some words of courage from you? In a couple of weeks, I'm talking to my toxic mom for the first time in years. I'm a little scared, but can't back out now. I don't even know what to say. Well, okay. <clears throat> yes, I can. Hang on. Hang on. Everybody, everybody take a drink break, okay? We're all going to, like, step back for a second. If you have them put on your fancy, fancy sunglasses, grab your favorite beverage. When dealing with somebody who has been kind of a toxic element in your life, there are very important things that you have to remember. And I speak from somebody who has had to deal with this throughout my life quite a bit. 
the first and foremost thing that you're always going to want to have to do is make sure that you take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself, especially because if you're talking to somebody who is toxic, they're not necessarily going to have your best your best uh, uh, <clears throat> well-being in mind. So you have to be the gatekeeper for your own heart and your own well-being. That being said, if you're going to talk to this person, obviously that means there's something that you want to get out of it. I think first and foremost, you have to make sure that you know you might not. You might not get it. Whatever answers that you're trying to seek from this formerly toxic relationship, you might not get that satisfaction. But if the attempt is something that ultimately you deem is worthy, then go into it as protected as you possibly can. And then make sure you have an exit strategy. And that exit strategy should involve friends, distractions, adventure, something that's going to enrich you. So that whether it goes good or it goes bad, you immediately go to a place that's going to be good for you. Okay? That's my suggestions. That's my suggestions. Do to do. Is everybody saying F in the chat for memories blueberries? Because Mem's blueberries went bad in the fridge. Really? That was so distracting. Okay, well. Uh, that's my recommendations. And my heart my heart goes out to you, buddy. I hope that everything works out alright. Uh, Megan says, P.S. You said my name right. Here's a gold star. Well, thank you very much. And GMCA Freak. It's the Ancestral Mormons and the Moon Jews. Indeed, indeed, my friend. Indeed, indeed. This is fun. Oh. Hello and welcome to Africa Watch on the Dr. Mumbi Show. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going, fam? I pray you're well in all your ways and that you are living your best life. Thanks to every, Listen, I am, every single person. Listen, I, I am living my best life right now. And can I say, Dr. Mumbi, can I say, <clears throat> I love your hair and I love your shirt. You look beautiful. You look radiant today. Please don't say anything dumb because I really am just loving you so much right now that has supported us through our Patreon and our PayPal families. Uh, really, really appreciate, love each and every one of you. Uh, for those of you guys who are asking, Patreon is basically a, pa a platform. You can find the link below where you, it's like the patrons of old, where you support someone, you know, either a dollar, two dollars a month. And when, uh, like, you know, Other when we have hundreds of people supporting the um, the artists, then they're well. able to do their thing. So definitely consider joining that now. Very interesting story coming out of Zambia. And you know what? There's so many pow powers and, and you know, you know, men of God and wizards and warlocks on the African continent. I sometimes wonder I why they... The there are what? Are doing very well. There are what now? Okay. They can't all put their powers together and liberate the continent, bara bing, bara boom, like, you know, immediately. I don't even know if that's a <laughs> Illuminati word. But there's this prophet called uh, CEO One. <laughs> uh, thanks to uh, the subscriber who sent me this story. This definitely made my day. Now, he was deported from Zambia in 2017, uh, just after the, uh, I think after, you know, giving his powers to some people. Now, he claims that the party that is currently in power in Zambia, uh, called the Patriotic Front and other leaders in government, uh, actually got their powers from him that not only made them, you know, extremely popular, extremely wealthy, but also got them appointed to government. Now, he has said um, that he has given the politicians whoa. 20 days. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is, wait, wait, wait. Is she... Wait, hang on. It... Oh, oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on in power in Zambia uh, called the Patriotic Front and other leaders in government uh, actually got their powers from him that not only made them, you know, extremely popular, extremely wealthy. So the leading politicians in Zambia got magic powers from this pastor or... I think, 
Oh, fuck. But also got them appointed to government. Now, he has said um, that he has given the politicians 20 days to return his charms. <laughs> And he said, you know, in one week, he'll start publicly naming them. Uh, you know, the following Sunday service, he'd start publicly naming them. And then allegedly, if they did not return his charms, you know, after 20 days, they would start, you know, they would allegedly die. This is, this is insanity. So, you know, Sia once said that, you know, he came out in public because these uh, Zambian politicians were oppressing Zambians, especially the government's, you know, patriotic front. I told you guys, you think politics, you think you just become president because, you know, you got, you got the talent or you're part of a brotherhood. It's, it's, it's the wizards and the warlocks that are ruling. Whoa, 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 no, 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 Mumbi, no. No, 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 Mumbi. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I For a second there, I was under the assumption, I was under the assumption that she thought this was ridiculous. This whole idea that, like, wizards and warlocks were gonna, like, be affecting elections and shit. And now... I must have misheard. I must have misheard. This isn't what she's saying. This isn't what she's saying. No, 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 no. Look, let's... We're gonna go back just a little bit. We need to, we need to figure out if this is what she's saying you know patriotic front I told you guys you think politics you think you just become president because you know you got you got the talent or you're part of a brotherhood it's it's, it's the wizards and the warlocks that are ruling or at least they're going to the wizards and the warlocks so, uh, uh, allegedly you know to get all kinds of charms and things to trick people to to allure people this is how Africa is operating but why aren't these people using these powers for good, like to help Africa. First, liberate our people. I mean, what kind of powers are these? Anyway, just listen to CEO One. We'll be right back. Wake up, Africa. Uh, and then I, I, I guess, want to say this to you. Oh no, 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 no. We're not gonna, we're not gonna fucking put up with that. Here, we'll go back to here. All right. My name is Dr. Mumbi Seraki. Uh, it's a long time since the men of God, you know, men of God of Africa, uh, made news on the Dr. Mumbi show. I'm just like, and thanks to whoever shared this with me. So, you know, he goes by the name of Sia One. And apparently he was in Zambia. He gave people a lot of charms. And there were some pictures that were shared with me, but I don't really want to, you know, I've already got a bit of beef with Zambia, so I'm not even going to be trying to share those pictures. But... It was so weird because all the men, I don't know if they're ministers or members of parliament, although he says, you know, there's a ring that he was giving these guys. And it's like a silver or gold ring, and then it has some black stone, either onyx or obsidian or whatever, in the middle of it. But he said that he put his powers into it. <laughs> so you use these powers to feed our people. You know, we need manna to come from heaven. So you use these powers to, to get rid of the locusts, like seriously. I Hi, TV's Jeff Holiday here. See, the problem isn't that there are possibly pastors on the African continent Other casting spells. That it's that they're not casting spells well. to feed the people of Africa. That's the problem. Back to you. And actually, I'm gonna have Mems keep going on this because I gotta be really bad. This is fucking me up, man. I'm la like I'm internally laughing so much it's jostling all my urine. I'm trying to get wine. Oh, well, memory's trying to get wine right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm failing at it. <clears throat> Hang on. Okay, there we go. Listen, I, 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 I make sure everything important in my life is delivered by bungee cord. That's just, the, it's, the, it's the most efficient way that I know how to do things, so it's fine. Okay. All right. It's kind of funny that you are making me watch Moombi, and we have very similar clothes on, except mine doesn't have stripes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should twist your hair. No. No? Okay. All right. No. I <laughs> would look real weird with that. There. <laughs> okay. Where were we? I don't know. Um... This chair, Jeff's chair. How do you move this chair? Hi guys, let's uh let's finish Jeff's 
video of of our our internet uh, wingnut girlfriend. I mean, these these African wizards and warlocks. Like, why don't they come together and actually do some good? So it's crazy. It's crazy. And people were cheering and everything. Um, and basically, you know, he so he helps all these politicians and they kick him out of Zambia <laughs> in 2017. And then um, there was this bishop, uh, Kazila, uh, of Life Gospel uh, in Chigola, who was speaking. He was speaking against the, basically the serial killings that have been going on allegedly in Zambia. And uh, he called for prayer, and then the next thing he was arrested. And so what you know, so what this year one was saying, that's now why he got so emotional. He was just like, listen, you can't be arresting men of God, uh, you know, and you got to. I mean, I don't think that's really a wingnut thing to say, though, not necessarily because they're men of God, just like, I mean, if you're speaking out against serial murder, that's not a bad thing. Yes, hello chat. Uh I will say hi to you. <laughs> I'm just taking over for Jeff so he can pee. I look oh, you guys are really sweet. And Jeff, I don't know what you guys are drinking, but Jeff has like Cabernet the the cabbie sav. The cabbie sow. What about the cabbie sow? The cabbie sow. Jeff drinks the cabbie sow and I'm a white wine girl. You do drink yeah, I do so, drink the cabbie sow. So this is like I might make some funny faces. <clears throat> Here, do you want? Oh wait, you just why jack? Why jack in it? Why jack in it? <laughs> yeah. We're right here. We out here. It's all good. Do you have a? Hmm. Oh no, I'm good. I'll just I'll just do this. Okay. Yeah, we're 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 fine. Yeah. So you guys give me back my charms. I swear, Africa. <laughs> With everything that's going on. Why can't he? Why can't they use those charms to get rid of the Chinese or something like that? I hear what? <laughs> they speak Chinese for every like ten Zambians, and then now the Chinese own the media, so they're even controlling the minds of the people. <laughs> so everyone. What? <laughs> <laughs> that took a real sharp turn. Oh my god! Now, now I need the cabbie sow. Oh my it's god! It's just passive, and there's more and more and more and more and more Chinese coming in. And then the Chinese try and make it seem like the Dr. Bumbi show is the one who has something against Zambians. Aye! <laughs> <laughs> that's a real spicy. That's real spicy. It is spicy. It's very spicy. <laughs> that's a real well, spicy take there. What's What's interesting about about Mumbi is like <laughs> she does she does legitimately have like serious grievances against the Chinese. Like before, like before, there was all these investments happening over the past like year and a half of Chinese people coming into uh, Kenya and Nigeria. Uh, she was all like, "It is all about the global elites coming from like the United States of America." But once they started pouring money into Africa, now she's like on this hate boner train for anything Chinese. It's wild. Hmm. I just, uh, I don't know if you saw my comment earlier, but I, in the chat, I think it's kind of awesome that, like, we have a, we have a collective crush on Dr. Moombi. Like, oh, she's very chat, beautiful. No, she's very beautiful. Every time she pops up, like, the chat gets full of compliments and then, all right, but something crazy is going to happen. Right, 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 right. Yeah, it's fair. She's, yeah. she's absolutely gorgeous until she opens her mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The wonders will never cease, I'm telling you. But let me know about, about these seers and seer one. Have you heard of him? Do you believe in these kind of things? I know there's different powers, but of course, the ultimate power is the power of the most high. That's why he's called the most high. Is that, is that why 420 is such a big day? The ultimate power? You have to talk that way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that why what? Is that why 420 is such a powerful day? the ultimate power everyone is the most high everybody is the most high on 420 yeah i suppose so i suppose so do you want your do you want your chat back? way to make a stoner joke there memory. memory memory do you want your stream back yeah i'll take it back okay. i'll take it back all right i'll, I'll call you back in for satanic yoga <laughs> <laughs> i'm so i am so excited for satanic yoga i bet you are and my leg is like wrapped up in your <clears throat> shit wake up africa Let's hear it for memory. Memory. Give me a kiss. 
That was like the worst ever. I know. It's the worst ever now, so you'll appreciate the best ever later. See, fellas, Husband teaching fail. you something every day. <laughs> Husband, fail. Be gone. All right. <clears throat> Uh, so in other news, Dr. Mumbi is crazy as fuck, uh, and there are wizards, there are wizards in Africa. You're a wizard, Akeem. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't know how much I want to clown around on it or anything like that, but, uh, this is, I, I look, I've been trying to find a good Mumby video for us all to watch and enjoy for months now. And this one is, mwah, it's beautiful. It's right up there. It's pretty great. Oh, no, I totally forgot to move my transition back. I need to figure out a way to make it faster to, like, click on whether or not I want the Shivambu tidal wave to happen or not. I got to fix that. There's got to be a way to do it. Okay. Where are we? Do, 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 do. Uh, Ashim says German for money is Geld with a D, not Gelt with a T. Gelt means something else or nothing at all. Okay. Amelia Osk, for pronouncing my Icelandic name correct not once but twice, please spend it on something from memory. I will. I absolutely will. Macy says, I feel like the stream is going to go from stone wizards to Jews real quick. Oddly enough, actually, hang on. I was about to say, like, I don't think we have anything with, like, Jewish conspiracies. But don't quote me on that. I can't remember now. Damn it. Crazy people hate Jews. I don't know what it is. I don't understand it. I've been trying to figure it out for a long time. I don't I don't get it. IDP Spoa. Dr. Mumby, gorgeous with a side of crazy. Agreed. Uh, K-I-G-F. Well, you can't prove that their magic powers do not come from him. You can't technically prove that. I've got to hop off the stream waking up early Other tomorrow because I have cows to take care of. Take care, Amelia. Uh, I love your sacred cow. Thank you very much. Red Scare, thank you very much. JC Gaming says, Mems looks great as usual. I agree. Uh, Mad Evil Genius, Mems, it's called a goon bag. We call it a, here in America, this is called a space bag. <clears throat> okay? You take the box of wine, the Franzia. <laughs> the Franzia. You open up the box, you take out the bag. The bag is a space bag. It's a space bag full of alcohol. And then you duct tape it to some bungee cords and you hang it somewhere so you can just fuck around as much as you want. And you got booze on a bag. But I, I, I appreciate that uh, in, in other countries. In Australia, it's called a goon bag. That's a good name. Kali Montelius, what's good, jefe? Glad I could pop in for a bit. I had to make a government branch of warlocks to bring Africa forward. Those damn warlocks have run wild for too long. Also, keep up the good work, dude. I will do my best. The real Asami, China has a big claim in Africa, so she's rightish. It's true, true, but the conspiracy theories surrounding the Chinese in Africa is a little weird. Uh, JMCA freak, by the by, the magic pastor power of the ancestral Mormons, I banish the wizards and warlocks from this realm into the realm of Morskar. <laughs> Fair, okay. Well, talking about banishing and portals, uh, let's watch this. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. I wanted to get up on here quickly because I'm getting ready to go into class, but I went to the store and I'm sorry for the glare. I'm in the kitchen and I guess I have a lot of lights on because I just got in from the store. Okay, so anyway, and it has to be something because I don't ever just jump on, but I had to jump on. And I'm going to post the pictures. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to have to do a second video so you guys can see the pictures. I'm going to send it to No my, rush, um, queen. No rush. Email. It's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to the post office, taking care of business like I do. And the Holy Spirit says, look up. Now, y'all know there's chemtrails that is always all over the world. Of course. But, I, but tonight, I have never seen what I've seen. It was like... Um, it was like smoke in the sky, but it was like a, a squiggly thing. And it had about two of them, right? And it looked weird. So when I looked up, I said, God, that don't look right. He said, what do you think that is? I said, God, okay, it's not a chemtrail because chemtrails be white. I said, but God, what is that? 
He says, Deanna, they are opening more and more demonic portals. I say, my God, my God. Wait, 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 wait. So, okay, I, I, I've been trying to think of this for a long time, ever since I was a very, very little boy. When people say, like, the Holy Spirit spoke to me, do they actually feel like something is speaking to them, or are they inferring something from their environment and feeling like that intuition is a statement or uh, a, a omnipresent message being sent? Like, that's the thing that I always wonder about. Do people who say, the Holy Spirit said this to me, do they actually hear a thing? Do they Is it like their invisible friend who's like, Yo, look at that fucking guy over there. Doesn't he look like a... Doesn't he, doesn't he look fucking ridiculous in them shoes with them pants? You know, like, it, that kind of thing. I, I don't know. It's strange to me. It's, it's hard for me to believe that somebody does... Does uh, have that, that external kind of, like, speaker voice going off and they can function normally in society? I don't know. It's really weird. From my point of view, God spoke to me. It was a feeling, not a literal voice. Well, that okay, so my pastor, when I was growing up, because I grew up very religious. I don't know if I've actually ever said that before, but I did. I grew up very religious. My pastor said the same thing. He said that the Holy Spirit speaks to us in ways that we don't understand as speech, but as, like, intuition or inspiration or happenstance which is kind of a lazy shit dick way of thinking about it but whatever it's fine but this is like the holy spirit said deanna deanna look up it's a portal it's a demonic portal anyway i'm thinking about this too long sorry you guys this stuff is real let me turn this off for a minute they are opening up more porters what does that mean porters i'm gonna have to go here i don't have time to play games Okay. Excuse me. No games. No games. No games. Let's go. Let's let's. We're not let's doing our job. I, I'm don't. I'm because I asked God. I said, God, what's what's going on? He said, There's an off balance, and I'm telling you what does said the Lord. I don't care who don't believe. At this point, I don't even care no more. I don't care what nobody say. What nobody believe. I know what I hear. Okay. God said, Deanna, y'all got to start praying more. He said, I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with the body of Christ. He said, y'all y'all busy trying to get money and be famous and be well known. I'm telling you what he said. Hallelujah. He said, the body of Christ. He said, you're also in dwell with all this other stuff. Because God don't look at us individually. I know y'all think he does, right? No, he looks at us, the body of Christ, the children of Israel. Got to come back to your first love. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There is no reason that evil should be written in it. Why? Okay. Like, I get, if, if this is like a live stream, her being like, can somebody please say hallelujah? I can kind of see saying that. Like, chat. Can we get some hallelujah up in the chat? Can we get some hallelujah up in this business? Can we do that? That'd be fucking great. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. That makes sense. But, like, this is a recorded video. Why are you saying, can we please get some hallelujah? Mm. This hour, not with the power of God. It's not on God, because God is God. Hallelujah! I feel the power of God. Don't matter. Hallelujah! Jesus. God is God. So, so it's not God. But I told y'all, and, and, and I wish I had more time to explain this. God cannot do Ow. everything because he's given us dominion. So that means he looks for people in the earth who's pure, who's powerful, who's serving me for real. I'm not talking about for play. Oh, I'm, I'm about to go here. <sighs> Hallelujah. Look, I'm about to get back on. Look, I'm, I'm, and see, see, it makes sense. It make guys, look, it makes sense with you and me. I'm seeing it now. A whole wall of hallelujah. I feel you. I'm with you. Halle hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see you, God. Uh, but but, but this, this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's absolutely ridiculous. Amen, brothers and sisters. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Subscribe to me for the only the finest curses coming straight from Zambia. Because I got to go to class. I'm about to get back on here. But let me tell y'all something. Okay. When you can feel the power and the presence of God, that's God. Okay. I'm not talking about, let me tell you something. It's too many Christians that are, are in between. I'm not saying they don't love God. In between I'm what? I'm not saying that they, they don't try to serve God. But you and I both know they compromise. Oh, I'm going here. I'm going here. Everything is supposed to be holy. Holy Bible, Holy God, Holy Spirit. 
Sure. When you got a question, if it's holy, if it's God, that ain't God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going here. From the gospel music to the gospel television shows. If it is, I'm just going to tell y'all what God said. We're starting to look like the world. You can't tell the difference. And y'all think it's a good thing. I'm just going to be real with you. No, it's not. There should be some distinction, said the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, my people should wear my stripes. The, my people should wear my anointing. My people should wear my bloodstained banner. You know why the 12 apostles were so powerful? Because they wore that banner day and night. And they knew they was going to die for it. They knew that. They didn't care who liked them. Who, they, they were famous. It, it, as a matter of fact, they didn't hardly have nothing. But we have a church that want to have everything. But you ain't saving nobody. I don't even know what she's talking about at this point. Look, all I know... Look, okay, hang on. <clears throat> I need some make sense juice, okay? I need some make sense juice. You digging the blonde hair, Jeff? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Amanda. Hallelujah. Listen, I understand that you had a certain type of experience that you were out and about in the average everyday world. You're walking around trying to get your, your Crispix and your Honey Nut Cheerios, your basic Kansas Spam, your Miracle Whip, your whatever. You're out and about. You're walking through this basic Safeway or whatever kind of grocery store. And all of a sudden, like, you get this intuition or this actual legit voice saying, Hey, yo, Deanna, look at that. You see that shit? And you look up and you see what I suppose you understand and perceive as a demonic portal with shit just spewing out. Okay, fine. First of all, uh, I, I think you should immediately go and seek some psychiatric help, but in what way does that then like correlate to you talking about the, the this strange revelation that everybody is not right with the lord and that the the to get right with the lord you have to hoopa jooba do with the booba jubu i don't understand this kind of stuff because what drives me crazy about this video is she says almost at like the one minute and 20 second mark that the lord says to her it's not about trying to get fame too many people are trying to get famous too many trying too many people are trying to like build themselves up but why Why then are you acting like a televangelist on YouTube? Why would you do that? You're doing the same thing. This doesn't make any sense. I mean, if it works for fucking whatever, dude. I'm a capitalist. I understand. It's totally cool. I don't want to watch this anymore. It's very strange. Very strange. Jilly Juice is the answer. Mm. Stop telling the future. I'm not saying whether we're going to watch a Jilly Juice video or not. Uh, this roundup but we will um, <clears throat> Mimi says if people say they literally heard God they need to go to a psych uh, yeah probably more likely yes than no I would agree uh, Becky Hill says how does this work if you're a big enough believer does God give you 1d6 bardic inspiration good reference and I suppose that's how they believe it. I suppose it's how they quantify this. Yeah, I think so. Very strange. Okay. Uh, so this takes a little bit of explanation. Um, so I've been, I, I've had a lot of things on my plate wanting to make a lot of different uh, YouTube videos. And I've had to kind of put them to the side for these larger projects like me dyeing my hair blonde and infiltrating an anti-vaxxer convention. Um, one of the videos that I was going to make and I still plan to make was a video about a guy named Steven Rodriguez, but it's been a month and a half since I initially wanted to make the video. So we're going to take a look at this real quick on the roundup. So at least I'm touching on it and hopefully I will have the inspiration to then make the video on this in the future. I really do want to, cause what this guy is doing is really dangerous. Um, but yeah, here we go. This is this is going to be a little gross, so brace yourselves. Soak it in. <clears throat> Just soak it in, okay? <sighs> this is one of my treatments that I'm finding is most productive because what I'm finding out is 
the needle. Are we getting beset by bots in the chat? It looks like it. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to uh, add you. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we got a... Uh... We got beset apparently by some uh, some wild bots in here. That's fun. Getting spammed by sex bots. Well, look, that's cause we're sexy, guys. That's what. That's cause we're sexy. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a little gross. This is gonna be a little gross. goes through the fascia the and through your fascia it doesn't break up enough to actually complete the healing process to complete so the I'm healing process is I'm going inside the fascia See, if you really want to complete the healing process, you need to take a hypodermic needle and you need to stab and chew up the fascia inside your face. And that's going to cause your, your face to start healing. Like this. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Like that. And breaking it up as best I can. But the acupuncture needle can't do it. It's too gentle. The acupuncture needle. So I'm using a... Um, a hypodermic needle and it is a 25 gauge and you can see it there and so what I do is I just so this here uh, I'm just gonna by the way I, I instituted slow mode sorry guys gonna have to be the case because we have uh, we got some Russian sex bots trying to to sell you all all the premium uh, um, premium memberships to sites that will totally not steal your information. So don't click any links in the chat right now. <clears throat> so this is Steven Rodriguez. Steven Rodriguez is, and this might shock some people, this guy's a fucking doctor. Like a legit doctor. This guy is a legit medical doctor. This is the least troublesome video of his that he has out there. He routinely has this idea that the way to improve things like back and neck pain is to take a very large hypodermic needle, stab it into the musculature of whatever is causing you pain, and then use the tip of that hypodermic needle to saw and turn into hamburger all of the musculature that's causing you pain. He has a whole YouTube channel full of these. By the way, all of that is extremely disgusting and wrong and not accurate in any way whatsoever. This is what I've been meaning to make a video about. But I just felt like we should at least kind of like bring this up a little bit on the Wingnut Roundup because is, is there anything more Wingnut than a guy sliding long ass surgical needles inside of his skin up against his skull like that's slide it through yeah just slide it just slide it baby just i've slide it up so it really doesn't hurt i can oh. still feel it which is good because then i can determine and i'm pulling and as you can see this tissue it's going to um release Yeah. All, right, all right, all right, we're done. <clears throat> we're done with that. So that's uh, Stephen Rodriguez, Doctor Stephen Rodriguez. Know this, Doctor Stefan Rodriguez. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I'm not the one who fucking sticks needles in my face, man. I'm just here to show you the cringe. I am your humble cringe merchant. Thank you very much. Don't get mad at me. You sign up for this, okay? Um, 
Uh, all right. Note nine jaw. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Justin Wagman. Thank you very much. Illustrious cabbage. What kind of crackhead fashion accessory? I, I'm sure you can, you can, you can figure it out. And Kelly Montelius, Jeff, my guy, I'll leave you for a couple of minutes and suddenly we have someone stabbing his face with needles. What the hell did I miss? This is triggering the medical professional in me. And it should, it should, because that guy is a legit medical professional. Does it look like the sex bots are gone? All right, we'll turn off slow mode for a second. If they come back, I'll turn it back on. Whatever. It's, it, like, literally doesn't mean anything. It's so easy to fucking switch on and off. It's fine. All right, you're free. Go crazy. All right, everybody. <clears throat> if you've watched the Roundup for a while, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's audience participation time. It's time that you... And I have to participate in the video we're about to watch. We're going to watch a video by Motivational Doc, 2.63 million subscribers, so obviously he knows what he's doing. And you have to follow along. You have to. You and the audience have to follow with me, and we have to do the exercises that Dr. Alan Mandel tells us. Otherwise, the whole stream will end. This is a participation stream. And if you don't do it, you're going to ruin it for everybody else. So you have to do it. Okay? You ready? We're going to unblock a stuffy nose. Ooh, let's turn that down. Woo! Welcome, everyone. Dr. Mandel here. Hi, Dr. There are Mandel. Many things that can cause our nose to become stuffy. Okay. There is nothing worse than trying to breathe from our nose and that oxygen is not getting in. It's the blood vessels that expand, the nasal membranes become engorged, and the nose continues to stay congested. This nasal distraction technique that I designed okay. is so simple, okay. but yet so effective. Within 30 seconds, Look, you're going to feel as if you put a balloon inside your nasal region and pumped it up. Your nasal... That doesn't, that doesn't sound good. I don't like that. I don't, I don't want to feel... I don't want to feel full in my face. I want my face to feel empty. But look, he sells it pretty fucking good. He sells it pretty good. This dude talks like he has authority. The authority over the way to drain your face. So let's go. Passages are going to feel wide open. You're going to feel spread eagle, if you will. Light. You're going to experience calmness, more oxygen to the brain, less anxiety. Your focus is going to improve and you're going to have better clarity. So let me show you how simple <laughs> and effective this technique is. Okay. We'll do yes. this in two parts, one on the right side and one on the left side. Okay, you guys ready for this? All right, make sure, look, limber up. I've had way too many people do these Dr. Mendel exercises and then message me afterwards, after the roundup, and they're like, I pulled a muscle, I wasn't stretched out enough. Like, if you need to, like, <clears throat> stretch it out, dude, stretch it out. Get, get, get fucking limber. Get limber, let's, let's not, Let's go. Only 15 seconds of peace. We're first going to work the left nasal passage. We'll take our right thumb. Our contact will be right in the center of the nose underneath, right here. Take our right thumb and push it up hard, firmly. Take our first and second finger of our left hand. Yeah. We're gonna grab the yeah. upper left lip. Yeah, like man. This. And we're gonna pull down and forward. As you pull down and forward firmly, keep pushing up with your thumb. Yeah, you're dude. You're gonna feel stretching in the left nasal passage. I feel Just something. Keep pulling down firmly and push up with your thumb, 15 seconds. I'll, now many yeah. of you may notice that when you grab your upper lip, saliva is causing your fingers to slide. You can take a little handkerchief or a paper towel and roll it up like this, grab your upper lip like this, push up on your nose, and pull down and forward. 
You'll hold it there a good 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Keep pulling. That's what you have You'll to do. Feel this area with the nasal passage start to stretch and open. So now let's do the right nasal passage. Aww. Take your left thumb, push underneath the nose, just push did firmly. That. Take I your two fingers of your right hand. Do it grab anyway. Grab your upper lip. Hey, there. we've done this one before. Excuse me. What is this? February 10th, 2020. Uh, this one came out this month. So if it's a repeat, take it up with the doctor, not me. You're going to pull it out and downwards. As you push up firmly, pull out and downwards. Keep pushing hard. As you pull out and downwards. I'm getting healthy. You feel the right nasal passage start to stretch. 15 seconds. I'm feeling so healthy right now. You should now. immediately <laughs> feel a tingling sensation in your nasal passages. That's your that's your self-respect draining out of your body. <laughs> I hope you realize the face you're making is going to be a meme. It's every month, dude. Every month we do this shit. Every month. It's it's not like any of this is new, you know. So whatever. It's fine. Oh, fuck, I love that shit. It's so funny. It's a good ego check, you know? Make yourself look as ugly as fucking possible, doing the most ridiculous shit. It's so fun. Uh, Wixper, I hate to miss around up, but I'm with my mom who's visiting me in college. I did see doTERRA selling things and thought of you. Love your hair, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, tell your mom. Hi, mom. Uh, my name is Jeff Holiday, and I think I have a sneaking suspicion you'd like my content. So, uh, you should get my link from your son. You'll like me. That's not weird, is it? Is that weird? I don't think that's weird. It's not weird. That's fine. your daughter? Huh? Yes. How old, is, how old is she? 23. 20. She's been going through a lot. <laughs> she needs <laughs> she need deliverance. She's been many, many years. For many years? Many years. Many, many years. Uh -huh. Hey, Timon. Bring that Timon here. Hey, uh -huh. Dabi. No, no. It's not Other me. It's, it's Jesus. Somebody say, this is Jesus. <laughs> now, this is practical Christianity. If you are a child of God, this must stop. Hey, look at that demon. Look, look, look. Now, as you begin to release fire, I'm going to teach you something. Inject fire in this room. Fire, fire. And when you say, when you say, let the fire of God manifest here from the roof, on the floor, <laughs> from the wall, 
The demon will not have any place to hide. Take seven seconds and begin to command that the Holy Ghost fire to manifest in this room. Open your mouth. Watch what happens. This one might actually be possessed. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Hard to say. I All I know is, like, I've watched a lot of Ed Sardinelli. Like, okay. <clears throat> I've explained this before in the past, but when I'm bored, when I don't have anything else going on, I'm playing, like, Destiny 2 or No Man's Sky or League of Legends or something like that, I put on Ed Sardinelli Ministries like prayer videos i watch these all the fucking time i watch his exorcisms all the fucking time i love these things i watch this unironically for fun all the time this is a really fucking good one this one is this one is spicy we release the fire of the holy ghost in every corner around every wall in the mighty name of jesus we release the Holy Ghost fire upon the carpet in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire. Holy Ghost fire, fire everywhere, fire everywhere, fire, 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 fire all over, fire everywhere. Come on, fire. somebody! Yeah. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Don't cry now, it's time for joy. Is it? Is now the time for joy, Ed? See! It doesn't look like it. What you see here... This looks like a fucking mess, dude! What are you gonna do with this mess? What are you gonna do? Is the residue demons. See? Residue demons. That are now flowing out. Residue. Look, 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 look. Look. Liba, Liba, Liba. Liba, I want to see what the demon is your is hiding. Demon, come here, come here. Hey, come, come to me in the name of Jesus. Come, one, two, three. Come to me in the name of Jesus. Let's go, let's go. You demon, get up now. Get up, pick her up, pick her up. Watch. That's another one. That's another one. Get the legs, get the legs. Then the African. Why was it you just try to get her get her legs like oh, for whatever? Hey! Demon, who are you? Look at me. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Look at me. And how long you been in this body? How long you been there? Speak out. No. Huh? No. How long you been there? Long. Long. And what is your assignment with this? Kill woman? our destiny. You want to kill our destiny? How do you intend to do that? Her mind. <laughs> Her mind. Did I say to you, before they open you up, they need to deceive you somehow. Look, if you go to a church, and if you don't see the Bible in action, what are you doing there? I've never said this in my life of ministry, but I'm saying it tonight. <laughs> if it's Jezebel, I'm going to scream. It's always Jezebel. It's always a... Look, okay. <clears throat> do, we need, do we need to make a point? I think we need to make a point. Listen. There's kind of a thing. If you actually pay attention to these things after a long period of time, you're going to start to notice a serious different set of trends. And these trends are going to be a little bit troubling. Nobody wants to accept these trends. Everybody wants these trends to not necessarily be real because, well, 
you know, the current sociopolitical thing. But the trends are this. The trends are this. When you start to pay attention to this, like, exorcism uh, alternative, like, uh, atmosphere, this this weird kind of subgenre of Christianity that's all about exorcism, it always revolves around Jezebel. It always revolves around, like, this weird type of, like, over-sexualized feminine empowerment sort of thing. Is that indicative or reflective of how much the church tries to, like, be kind of shitty to women? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. That might just me be kind of, kind of like throwing a little bit of shade out there. But it does seem kind of a coincidence, doesn't it? It seems a little suspicious. And every time we talk about an exorcist, the exorcist is always hyper-focused on Jezebel. And Jezebel is always about getting that dick and not needing no man for no satisfaction otherwise. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That... I'm not alone in this, am I? Like, anyway, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> All right, next up we have... It's going to be seven phases with needles. Fair, fair. Uh, IDP Spo, my nose is still stuffy. Hushed Bunny Von Octopi. I legit have a cold, and all that did was make me more stuffed. Fraud! Well, sorry about that. Risha, this one might actually be possessed indeed. Lexi Banks, that boss music is fire, fire, fire. Leslie Clausen, take my money. Blondie Bear Jeff. I like that one. Blondie Bear Jeff. That's pretty nice. I like that. That's good. Okay. Oh, fuck. No, well, I put it in the rotation, so we have to watch it. All right. It is funny. It is funny. It's actually really funny, but, like, I fucking hate this dude. The bigger his hair gets, the dumber he is. Okay? Folks, this is Brianna, the full lieutenant former. I'm coming to you with a very brief message today. This is uh, Sunday that uh, the Super Bowl is being played on. That I, created. I want all of you uh, to tune out of that. I don't want you to watch it. Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, the government knows that they're going to release at least 100 to close to 200 million people uh, watching this game. You need to realize that uh, the television is a satanic mind control system. Of course. And uh, back in the late 80s in Japan... They... That's, that's been something that we've all understood for a long-ass time. Like, uh, of course, of course, the, the boob tube is a, t is a satanic mind control system. We all know that, of course. He tested out a program uh, in a Pokemon commercial. That basically sent 800 children to the hospital with epileptic seizures. Uh, d just for the record, before I talk about what he just said, uh, yes, uh, the higher uh, Joe Embriano's hair gets, the crazier he is. When he gets a haircut, he's a lot more sane. So I do think he's kind of like what, what's his what's what's his name? Uh, the, the, who had his hair cut? Samson. He's like he's like the wingnut Samson, right? When his hair is cut, he doesn't really have the power levels to be as crazy. So he's a lot more sane, but if he lets his hair grow out, he just gets nuttier and nuttier. He's 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 the wingnut Samson, right? Uh, what was he talking about? I'm telling you right now that if there's any day that you're going to give up watching television, it should be today. If there was any day the government was going to pull something off in terms of sick. Oh yeah, he was talking about Pokemon. Uh, there was an episode of Pokemon. Uh, oh god, I don't know, like 10 years ago or something like that, where they accidentally did a lot of flashing on the screen and it caused people who have epilepsy to fall into epileptic fits. Not a lot. It was only like, I think it was like, I, it was probably like 30 people across all of Japan. Uh, but it was enough that people were like, whoa! Uh, but for him, that's indicative of mind control. It was a mind control experiment, right? Mechanic mass hypnosis and mind control and even something more far more nefarious and dangerous it right. would be today right uh the the uh, super bowl is the epitome of the bread and circus and are you people gonna sit there and hand your minds over to these people let me just tell you something i remember years ago i uh met these girls and they took me to a restaurant uh after after hours it was really dark and uh wait that Pokemon thing was over 20 years ago? Oh, no.
no, 20 years ago? Am I that old? <laughs> of course I'm that old. It's fine. Yeah, no, I, I misspoke. It's all right. It's about 2.30 in the morning. I should have known better than to go somewhere with uh, girls with burgundy hair and uh, really, really cherry red lipstick when I was a young teenager. But they took me to a place where I couldn't see what was on the menu and what was going on, and I got the heck out of there. Because I didn't know what they were going to give me to drink or to eat or what they were going to do to me. Well, I want to tell you something, folks. The Super Bowl halftime service is an overt satanic ceremony. And uh, you don't know what they're going to feed into your eyes and in your mind uh, right after uh, you start watching it. It is not safe. It is not a safe thing to do to watch the Super Bowl. All right? If there was any <laughs> day they were going to pull something, it would be today. <clears throat> okay. All right. It is a black right. satanic, electronic, psychotronic, black scrying mirror, television, satanic, uh, electronic Ouija board. That's what the television is. And if you watch that, you open the, the windows to your soul, your eyes, to yeah. their programming. Of course, of course. If yeah. you oh, don't no. watch yeah. it, yeah. Well. they will not allow, you will not allow them access. You can pray in the name of Jesus Christ to break the spells over the masses, folks, because that's the problem. People have been hypnotized by this satanic, black scrying mirror, psychotronic, electronic Ouija board called a television that some people like to call a smart TV that's turning everybody into idiots. <laughs> Today is the day to shut it off. Today is the day to look away. Today is the day not to look into that demonic porthole. Here's, here's the thing, too. Here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> we can all, like, take a moment and we can enjoy... Joe Embriano being ridiculous and out of control, right? It, sure. But the thing you got to understand is he did this live. He's got 89,000 subscribers, 15,000 views. I'm looking at the live chat and like this dude commands a shit ton of people's attention. And they're like, yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Fuck that halftime Super Bowl bullshit. Fuck that halftime uh, pre-programmed Illuminati bullshit. Like, this is real shit. This is real shit. There are a lot of people out there who buy into this kind of fear pandering. A fuck ton. A fuck ton. And it shouldn't surprise anybody. Not after watching the Wingnut Roundup as long as you have, of course. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, if you've been here for a while, none of this should surprise you. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, memory. Next to satanic yoga. I'm going to catch up with some people real quick here, and then uh, then memory is going to watch some satanic yoga with you. Um, do, 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 do. Ashim says, Timon slash Demon. Timon of the Lion King is a demon. Disney Company is in the hands of demons, or even Satan himself. Possibly. Charlotte Stanley says, in the hospital right now, not allowed any food. Crohn's disease sucks. Thank you so much for cheering me up. Love, live your hair, by the way. Love your hair, by the way. Um, Crohn's disease does suck quite a bit. But Charlotte, I'm really, really happy that I can act like a big old goof nozzle and a big old douche canoe and be silly with my dumbass haircut and maybe hopefully cheer you up while you had to be stuck in the hospital. I'm uh, more than happy to do that for you. Um, all right. <clears throat> Let's harass the wife, because the wife is going to watch some satanic yoga with you guys. Yoga! We'll text her yoga and see what happens from there. Jason Sanders, I just want to fly. Put your arms around me, baby. I said at the beginning we're not supposed to do any Sugar Ray references, all right? I just want to fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I had to let the cat in. Oh, you had to let the cat in? That's fair. That's a good reason to be late. That's all right. Yeah. This, this video is going to be so stupid. Oh, my God. <laughs> memory found this, by the way, and so Memory is going to, like, experience this with you guys. Um, Yeah, here we go. Let's go with that one. Get out. Get I'll out, demon. I'm leaving. Get out. Jezebel, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Out. I am leaving, demon. Hang on. Let's watch the mixer. If he, if for some reason he's really low, you could turn it up with this one right here. I, I, I don't know. 
I feel like he might be a little low. Okay, good. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Hi, Demon. guys. Hi. Yes, Demon. Uh, I can't get your demonic headphones in. So I found this today, and I can't tell if this kid is being sarcastic or not. I kind of don't think so, just based on, like, the comments and stuff. But I thought it was pretty hilarious, so satanic yoga oh wait why didn't it not play why uh, uh. i've been practicing satanic yoga. whoa that's real loud huh sorry guys let's uh let's turn that down a bit and how's this dang it i have to move the uh <laughs> Sorry, this is not my setup. My setup is different, so I'm trying to get used to it. Let's see if this is quieter. Yoga for no. Okay. We'll do this, maybe? For years, it has led me to be more connected. That's still too loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Let me turn it down a little bit more. All right. Yeah, I know it's very loud. I'm, I'm working on it, okay? I'm not... <laughs> Uh, Jeff's mouse does not like me. Let's see if this is quieter now. To the world around me, physical and spiritual, it has led me to connect with sat satanic dark side. And to be quite honest, it has boosted me several levels. Downward. <laughs> is it still too loud? No, it's better? Okay, good. All right. Satanic dog sends energy throughout the body and provides a great inversion. Satanic child's pose Ow. boosts your immunity because you're it's it's too loud. Here, go ahead. I just turned it down because no, it was no, no, too no, loud. It's it's it was too loud for you, but it's not too loud for them. Head is lower than your heart. Therefore you receive more circulation to the face and brain. It is also a great stretch for your lower back and a nice massage for your abdominal organs. Satanic shoulder stands. <laughs> it's cracking me up because it's literally, yeah, the voice, his voice is amazing. Satanic downward dog. <laughs> but it's, I, I really like it because it's literally just regular yoga with satanic in front of it. That's right. <laughs> Stimulate all the digestive, nervous, the digestive, and hormonal systems of the body. Hormonal. That's right. Satanic plow pose stimulates <laughs> the, the spinal amazing. nerves and. The voice is amazing, yes. Strengthens your spine and back. It increases the blood supply and provides nourishment for your internal organs. And you can smell your it own also asshole. It provides overall blood circulation within the body. Making it a great pose to strengthen your immune system. Satanic wheel pose. I love, I love, I love just the like, uh, back the the like upside down waterfall of six six six. That's good. It's so it's great. It's perfect. Strengthens your abdominal muscles and opens up the hips. It hey, stimulates ups. the thyroid and pituitary glands. Therefore, improving overall health. As you stretch in satanic wheel pose, you're also improving your flexibility. Satanic tree pose, also known as the upside down cross pose. Right. Wait, what? The upside down cross pose? The upside down the cross <laughs> pose. <laughs> satanic tree pose, also known as the upside down cross pose. Hey y'all, you ever want to get nailed to a tree? <laughs> this here is my nail to a tree pose. Hey there. <laughs> is the most iconic satanic yoga pose. <laughs> As you stand on one leg, your body forms the shape of an upside down cross. Of course. Satanic corpse pose is known as the most important pose in satanic yoga. Of course. Satanic corpse pose reintegrates your body's <laughs> muscles and functioning. 
live my life. Uh, live, we're, <laughs> live we're, my life. We're, we're pretty sure that that one is a troll. Pretty like, sure it's a troll. Mo- but... Like most of the times we don't have a troll on the Wingnut Red Up, but like this was so good. <laughs> How good? <laughs> I just love it because it's literally just regular yoga with the word <laughs> satanic in front of everything. It's downward dog, but now it's satanic downward dog. Say. Satanic child's pose. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I fucking love it. What a good video. Uh, yeah. I, I love that it's livemylife.com, but it's live my life. Live my leaf. Live my life. Live my leaf. Life. Leaf. Life. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I know we no right now. Let it be. Okay. All right. I'll wait. Also, one, I, need more one. I need more of that cabby sow. I need more of that cabby sow. And while I'm getting more of that cabby sow, uh, I'm going to tell your chat that if you're new here, you're supposed to drink every time Jeff says, listen. That's true. I've been trying not to say it too many times the past few roundups, but uh, when I really, when I have something very important to say, that's when I say it, you know. So uh, I'm sure it's going to happen again here really soon. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. Appreciate you. Memory is such a delight. Uh, big, big, big ups in the chat for uh, for Mems. Can we get some hallelujah for Mems in the chat, please? All I know is when I do, like, press one in the chat for something, like, it makes my mods lose their fucking minds because the chat goes absolutely fucking bazonkers. So hallelujahs are probably a lot better. What are we doing now? Oh god. Where am I? Well oh, fuck. Who are you people? Why are you in my house? What the fuck? Oh my god. Hang on. Oof. <sighs> Hallelujah. Aw. You know what the best thing in the world is? So <clears throat> you and I, we probably had an experience, a relationship together for a while. Um, you've probably been watching me maybe for like a month or two. Some people actually have been for quite a few years, and I really appreciate that. Anybody who's been sick with me throughout the years, through the ups and the downs, all the fucking bullshit, the highs and the lows, I really like that. I really like that a lot. But also, I kind of have this feeling a lot of times where uh, people in my real life don't really quite understand what I do. My real life friends don't really understand what I do. And so when I get like that little notification that somebody who's a buddy of mine in real life is now sub to my shit and is watching me, I'm like, I see you, I see you, and I love you. So it's very nice. It's very cool. It's very, it's a very different kind of thing. Cause otherwise, like, you know, if we get a chance to meet, it's going to be out in the world, out in the wild. I happen to be in your city or something like that. We go get coffee. We go get a drink. That's cool. But most of my real life friends, they don't really get what I do. They don't really understand. <laughs> it's kind of sad. It's kind of depressing. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of depressing. Uh, Charlotte Stanley says, in hospital right now. Oh, no, no, we just read that one. Jason Sanders says, I just want to fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Yeah, no, we read that one, too. Mm. That voice is amazing. That voice is amazing. Okay, I have a good one. Here is where things get really fucking weird. This is going to be really fucking strange. Just read the title of this video and enjoy with me in the right avenues and you can know what you're looking for now let me show you something now listen to this listen to this listen to this listen don't say nothing be quiet just listen be quiet just listen listen let me turn my volume up here we go listen they don't want black people to know that they have extraterrestrial uh, ancestry now that's a conference this is a conference all white people in there ain't no niggas in this conference Somebody just happened to be recording with their phone. This is David Wilcock. What did he just say? Let me play it back. He said they don't want black people to know that they have extraterrestrial DNA. Now, before I play this and show other things, I just want to say this. I've been saying this shit for five years. So the shit you niggas is just now trying to jump on and, and white people just now admitting certain things, I've been fucking saying this. So some of y'all don't listen. 
to facts when it comes from a black man. So a white person has to say the same shit I'm, I'm saying, okay? David Wilcox is one of those guys that people will latch on to, be like, okay, can you tell us more about the hybrid alien DNA infecting uh, uh, this, and that's why we have the coronavirus is because of the hybrid alien DNA? And he'll be like, well, yeah, of course, so listen, blah, 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 and he'll just run his fucking mouth a bunch of, about a bunch of bullshit. For some reason... Young Pharaoh believes that David Wilcox, the most irreputable fucking motherfucker on the planet, is the most reputable motherfucker on the planet. Um, but this isn't why. This is why we're watching it. We're, we're watching it because we're gonna go right about here. Let's go. Hold on. Let me make this a little bigger so I can see. Where is my shit? Where is my? Here we go. Look, I, I, I've been doing the roundup for a long ass time now. A long ass time. I feel like I can actually tell you guys legitimately when shit's about to go off the fucking rails. Shit's about to go off the fucking rails. Open your mind, Quaid. Here we go. Here we go. Now look. 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 Janet. 145 alien genes. Huh? Scientists discover this is not from our ancestors. Now, y'all got to read between the lines. Because remember, they say only only real human beings is black people. They say if you're not black, then you only 93% human, 7% Neanderthal. It might be more than that. Okay? Now, okay. I'm going to just okay. go through this quick. I'm not going to go in detail. I'm just giving y'all where I'm going. You want the details, go to my website. Look at that. 147 alien genes. Look at this. Humans contain alien genes not passed from our ancestors, researchers have discovered. Who is humans? <clears throat> Who is humans? Who is humans? Who is human? Now look at this. Look at this. Talking about the old, the old negative blood type, huh? Which is an uh, extraterrestrial blood type. Look at this, huh? Africans, huh? Unknown human DNA species. I put this out years ago. This shit just came out this year, February 14, 2020. Scientists firing ghost lineage of DNA in the African. See? Now let me explain something to you. Let me explain oh. something to you. Okay, I'm not going to go into details on the article. Let me explain something to you. If they never found no anthropological bones, they never found no, 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 no leftovers or no bodies, huh? Where did these motherfuckers go? If black women have an entire human species in their DNA that accounts for an entire civilization or race of people, and nobody never seen these motherfuckers. We must ask ourselves, did they even die? Where did they go? Is they under the water? Is they outer space? Where did they go? See, now now you might say, Pharaoh, what is a metagene? See, now what you're looking at is the is the template for our amino acids. Now, amino acids are like Legos. And you can build, you can construct Legos differently to create different pieces. And so why is this important? We have 64 amino acids. You only got 20 to 22 active. And so when you watch the movie X-Men, you you're an X-Man and you become a mutant. One of your genes mutate and activate and give you psychic abilities. The, the fucking CIA already admitted psychic abilities are real. So I don't I don't I don't think I need to argue that with y'all. Well, uh, holy shit, that's a lot to unpack. Okay. Um. So the CIA says that psychic abilities are already real. The X-Men are basically already real. Like the mutant X gene has already been activated. Is that what psychic people are? Is that? But what does that, like, how does that, what does that mean for like black people being extraterrestrials? Like, fuck, hang on. Okay, they already admitted this shit is real. Now, why is this important? All of these other genes that you see on this chart are not even yet unlocked or available to you. So this is why black people are being organ harvested. This is why black people are having our placenta stole. This what? 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 This is why Planned Parenthood, which was set up by the Ku Klux Klan, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay, it's still in our fetuses and using our tissues for their own scientific evil experimental endeavors. So the, the red box 
that you see is 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 the only amount of your proteins in your DNA that you use in this lifetime. So you don't know what the fuck you capable of, black man and black woman, because you have not yet reached your full human potential. But how you gonna reach your full human potential eating this fucking processed food, living underneath this poison gas air? Why you think they poison the air, poison the water, poison your motherfucking mind? So that you do not unlock your meta genes. Go research meta genes. Meta genes, meta means beyond. Okay? Okay, okay. All right. Hang on. <clears throat> I feel like I'm being beaten over the head with a baseball bat right now. <laughs> this is a bit much, dude. It's a bit much. Um, okay. All right. Hang on. So this is a bit wild. Uh, I don't know necessarily. Okay. So the title of this live stream are black people are extraterrestrials. All right. So we, we can, we can infer from this that he's trying to say that black people or at least their genome comes from the stars. However, however, this selection that I found a little bit further on uh, makes it a bit more confusing, and I still don't really quite understand what Young Pharaoh is trying to say at this point. I've been trying to figure this out. Yeah, this video is an hour and 49 minutes long. Yes, it is. Yes, 100%. Did, ha, did you miss... When we were dealing with his, his like, two and a half hour long, like, video stream explaining how Jesus Christ was a homosexual. Nobody should be surprised at this point. Young Pharaoh is a very, <clears throat> he's a very verbose young man, okay? So, let's, let's see if we can, like, if we can glean any kind of wisdom from this point of the video here. It's my, like, wet dog. Did you think somebody being racist? Ain't nobody being fucking racist, huh? Look, it's the I mean, Gwyneth Paltrow does actually kind of look like that dog, but whatever. That's look. I'm not. I'm not here trying to like lay any shade on anything like that. You know, it's 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 fine. It's fine. It's oh, oh. Love ya, Jeff. Your videos are funny, sad, important, and has really helped me start to question things. Been watching for years. Love the blonde. This is my first roundup, and I'm hooked. Aww, that's really sweet. I really appreciate that. That's really cool of you, dude. I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> if I can be real for a second, before we before we get back into like launching into Young Pharaoh's uh, abortion of a video that we're watching. YouTube has blessed me with the ability to reach out and interact with fans in quite a way that as I build and I grow, I can kind of interact with you guys. We can have kind of an intimate and cool way of building and growing together. And I like that. I like that a lot. But YouTube as a medium is, is ultimately kind of bullshit. It's kind of shitty. It's kind of shitty. I'm doing my best with what I got here. Um, and as much as I love the ability to interact with fans and everything, um, <sighs> going to Cal Jam this month, going undercover, having to like change my, my appearance and like go and be among people that I find disgusting, uh, to really understand how deep and pervasive this problem is made me even more realize that as much as this is fun, as much as like doing the roundup and hanging out with you guys, making videos for you guys, we all have fun. It's cool. It's great. Uh, if 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 a man is going to make a change, if things are going to actually affect a change, uh, I have to I have to dream bigger. I have to do bigger. I have to shoot higher, and uh, it's scary and it's spooky. And uh, it's kind of fucked me up this past month. And that's why I'm glad I get this chance to spend with you now here in the roundup. Uh, watching this ridiculous video with Young Pharaoh. So that was my moment of vulnerability. Back to Young Pharaoh being weird. The same fucking fi hair follicles. Huh? Look. 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 
I'm look, looking. Look, when a nigga say, <laughs> motherfuckers been calling us monkeys for goddamn a thousand years, bitch. I don't look at my motherfucking lips. Look at my motherfucking lips. That ain't my motherfucking lips. Look at this. Look at this. And so don't play with me like that. Don't play with me like that. Don't play with me like that. But now let me let me show y'all something. Right? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. They say black people are the only organic people on the planet Earth. Watch this. Listen. Shh. And, and that's why another thing that I'm really fascinated by is Obama winning the election simply because there's only one type of human... Let's run that back. You heard what he said? He said the only people that have been naturally generated by the Earth's evolution are black people. Let me play that again for you niggas in the back. Wait, wait, let's, let's, okay. We, I don't think we need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the thing that bothers me the most about this is like that kind of goes counterintuitive to the to the title of this video. I, I, I don't, I honestly don't understand. I watched this whole thing earlier. I, I still don't know what the fuck Young Ferret was actually trying to get at. I don't get it. I don't understand what he's trying to talk about. It doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe you guys would have a better chance. You can uh, go watch that on your own time and explain it to me later. Yeah. Be good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Uh, yo, Jeff, if you're ever in Hull, England, I want to introduce you to Spiders. It's 100% the best and strangest club on earth. That sounds cool. I like weird, weird clubs. Uh, my mad mustache. Uh, black people are space plants confirmed. Indeed. Indeed. I actually, I had, uh, memory calling, uh, my brother, uh, who's black, but he didn't answer because I was going to ask. I was going to, I was going to grill him. Live on air. I was gonna let. Be, all right, Jimmy. Look, I know you said you weren't a plant, but are you an alien ET hybrid? It's gonna grill him on that, but uh, he's probably busy. <laughs> Keep clubbing, baby seals. Says Papa Jeff. Uwu, why are you still in big pineapple salvi Eric's, aka Internet Comment Etiquette style? Love you slightly above average, Daddy Jeff. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, I almost got a chance to hang out with Eric uh, while I was down there doing my, my stupid investigative thingy. Aunt Cecilia just got here in time to learn that black people are extraterrestrials. Your content is educational as always. Love you. You know what? I strive to educate. Tyler still owns. Love you, Jeff. Your videos are funny, sad, important, and has really helped me start to question things. Been watching for years. Love the blonde. It's my first roundup. Saw that one. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate you. Very, very sweet. And Zidane says, so are black people plants or aliens now? Um, the jury's still out on all of them. My 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 brother Jimmy says he's not a plant. But we did not get confirmation whether or not he's an alien or not. So we can we can we can officially say by wingnut roundup standards, black people are not plants. But they might be aliens. They might be. They might be. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Could be. I'm sure all my black friends who are watching right now are super offended. Uh oh fuck. All right. Let's watch this. It's fine. It's okay. Let's go. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the connections between Trump, Elvis, the state of Washington, right? <clears throat> and the next 9/11. Okay? You see the you're going to see this front car, right? You see this car right there? It's upside down, right? But look, it's the number six car. It goes into the wall and then turns upside down and becomes the nine. You see that? And now watch who the winner is, okay? So remember, the, 
the six became a nine, and now the 11 wins the race, right? So there's your 9-11 code. So the 11 ended up winning the race. So like I said, the six car gets turned upside down, becomes the nine, because I told you around Trump's birthday on 6-11, which is the 9-11 upside down, uh -huh. that's when the next 9-11 is going to be, around wow. Trump's birthday, between 6-11 and 6-14. Whoa! So Trump was born on June 14th. Anyway, look, you got the sexual innuendos on the car. You got like the word, the name Koch, you could be pronounced cock. And then you have Oscar Meyer, because that's a wiener. I mean, you see what I'm talking about? This, this stuff that they do. All I'm saying to you is that there's some kind of supernatural force that is creating this, okay? Because let me show you who this guy is who was driving the, the number six car that got into the accident. Okay. So here was that driver, and if you know my videos, you know that the man and the son is the main codes in all their stories on television. He kind of looks like Papa John, doesn't he? He looks a little bit like Papa John. A little bit. And his name was Ryan Newman. Okay, so he had the man in his name, and in, it, and in no way am I saying it's a fake story. But like I said, some supernatural forces <laughs> behind all of this, okay? When you see all these coincidences. Anyway, so course, he was okay. He's out of the hospital already, <laughs> as if he doesn't have one scratch on him. And if you know my videos, you know that I'm saying that Trump is going to be resurrected and become a new man. Get it? So it's now listen to what she Looking says, what, what his nickname know. is. How is Rocket Man? Well, he, with a race winner crown, the fans still didn't know. How is Rocket Man? Well, so this guy's nickname is Rocket Man. And you know who uses the word Rocket Man all the time, right? It's that Trump. And you know that Trump calls Kim Jong-un Rocket Man. You know the North Korean dictator? I mean, dictator? And you know all that nuclear talk. Look at that. You got a nuclear weapon. You know, of course, nuclear weapons aren't real, but I'm not going to get into that. But you got a bomb going off in Trump's head right here. Nuclear weapons aren't real? <laughs> I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't. I don't know that one. And you have this weirdo, Elton John, who's also, you know, he's known as the Rocket Man also because of his song. And there was a movie that came out which was during Trump's presidency called Rocket Man because he had a song called Rocket Man, you know what I mean? And look, he's, he looks like he's got a demon in his chest hairs. <laughs> look at that. What, what a what? weirdo, man. No! So what? Elton John is a fucking musical genius. Holy shit. I, like, I get when people get kind of upset. They get kind of, like, crazy. They, their, their morality. Oh, shit. Hang on. Jeff, never lose your spirit. There's some weird, dark, horrifying stuff out there, and you bring it out into the light. With most of this wingnut awfulness, sunlight is the best disinfectant. We love you. Take care of yourself out there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Sometimes I don't do a very good job, but uh, I appreciate that. That's a really sweet message. I really do appreciate that. That's really... It means a lot to me. Um... <laughs> Aw, shit. Okay. <clears throat> Hang on. Let me, let, me, let me get back into the vibe of this real quick. Okay. You got this problem with Elton John and Rocket Man and this kind of thing. Look, the basis of this is fine. You don't understand rock and roll. You don't understand the basic process about which people go out of control. They're they're a larger than life production style kind of spectacle for people to enjoy. It's it's fireworks. Rock and roll and and uh popular culture. They're fireworks. They're they're pa pa boom boom bang. Things to be entertained with. They're flashes in the pan. They don't necessarily have to be indicative of how you live your life. They're a 
their experiences in excessiveness. We can enjoy for just a moment in time, just a flash in the pan, something larger, more loud, more colorful than our lives. And we can enjoy those, and that's good, because if we flash and enjoy those things, we can then appreciate, otherwise, the more mundane aspects of our lives. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Because I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but life is usually kind of fucking boring. Life is kind of fucking boring. And what's really sad is there's only so much of it. And the longer you live, the less of it there is. Life is precious. It's a precious commodity. So if you can find something that makes you appreciate that life that you have to live that much more, that is invaluable. And you should embrace it. That's great. I don't know what the point of that was. I probably drank a little bit too much bag of wine at this point, but that's okay. Okay. Anyway, that was Jurassic Liars. We're gonna we're gonna move on. <laughs> I'm about to get really gay on this fucking stream, like, listen man. Hey man, listen. Life is beautiful, and if you're not paying attention to how beautiful life is, you just don't understand, man. That's where we're that's where we're headed. If I don't like rein this back in. If I don't rein this back in, if I don't redirect what we're supposed to be doing towards the wing nuts. I'm about to get super sappy and gay. We're not allowed to do that. Oh, we gotta focus on the craziness. Are you ready? Are you with me? Are you with me? Let's go. Uh that one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so to piggyback on the whole thing with energy, energy can neither can neither be destroyed or created, just transferred and converted. That's correct. So when you look at reproduction, mm. reproduction comes from the fact that the host or the mother is losing energy. And the only way to transfer that energy so she doesn't just go back, she doesn't just like mitigate, what do you call it, um, go extinct, is mm -hmm. she transfers that energy into reproduction. So reproduction is really energy transference from the body needing to transfer energy because a mother is losing energy. And that's why they call uh, um, fetuses like parasites because they are taking minerals and nutrients from the mother, and which is why you see mothers get diagnoses like, um, you know, is it? diabetes, gestational diabetes, they trigger all types of cancers, diseases, and chronic illnesses because that baby is taking the life force from the mother and transferring onto itself. So parasites aid in the child's, the baby's formative years. And so that's why you see pinworms in kids. That's why parasites actually aid in reproduction. Parasites make women fertile. The reason why is because these Whoa. parasites know that this body... Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Did Jillian just say that pinworms make women more fertile? Did she just say that? is dying and it's helping new life to begin it's not like it's actually um, fertilizing the eggs but it's making the mother more fertile she becomes more amorous she becomes uh her behaviors will act in such a way to where it's kind of parasitic she's now going to feed off the of energy of a man trying to get him to then inseminate her to then create this this one celled organism, this protein that will eventually then get fertilized and then have the viruses, the bacteria, the fungi, the protozoa, the parasites and the proteins now help it along to turn it into the life form that you are, but less than. Because remember, anytime you reproduce in a body that has not resolved the issues, you now have 
now compound predispositions in your child. So your child's going to have characteristics not unlike yours, but even probably worse or more so because of the aggressive environment that they're in. And they're not actively taking care of themselves because they're, they don't know how to. They're just living by their hormones. <coughs> some water. So yeah, so Jen yeah, it, it can only it can only help. Um, <clears throat> I don't I I don't really I don't really have anything to to add to that. I don't I don't think there's really anything <laughs> specific I can say. That's. <laughs> Uh, uh, anybody who's completed high school <laughs> knows what she's saying is <laughs> is so fucking crazy, dude. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold it together. It's totally fine. Should we give her just a little bit longer, like like one more minute? Should we give her? Should Guys, should we give Jillian one more minute? One more minute. Maybe she's going to pull it back away from the brink. Should we give her one more minute? What do you guys think? Tell me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Meanwhile, I was going to drink some water, but I just realized I don't have any water in here. So there's water in wine, right? There's water in wine. It's fine. We'll give her one more. Yeah, give it. Yes. Okay. We'll give her. We'll give her one more minute. One more minute. One more minute. I see it, and I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. We're gonna give her one more minute to explain herself. Maybe Jillian will make more sense in one more minute. I feel it. Jennifer Amon McCauley, who yeah, want to make so fun. <sighs> Need water. Holy That's shit. That's parasites that do aid in fertility. I'm studying viruses, I'm studying parasites, protozoa, fungi, protein, bacteria, and virus, all that stuff. Like you do. And yeah, <laughs> I can totally see it because, you know, maternity and all that, it's not pretty. I mean, no matter how much people say, oh, maternity is so beautiful, reproduction is so beautiful, it really isn't. Maternity. It, you know, some will have a much easier experience than others. But maternity is not beautiful. Look, maternity is very messy. It's very messy. It's 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 fraught. It's fraught with problems. It's downright. It's oh god. I mean, you get some of you will get sick. Some of you won't. Some of you will have all these different issues. Some of you won't. Yeah, life is great. I think life is great, but it means that's the expense of you as the host, as the mother. Your child is now developing at the expense of you. You have now given the best part of yourself to that kid. And now with the J juice, you can regenerate what you gave to your kid. But is your kid can regenerate what it took from you and what it's being taken away from given their belief systems, their lifestyle, their predispositions that they inherited from you. All right. Well, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys. I don't feel very satisfied with Jillian's explanation. But that's okay. I've been disappointed by Jillian for, what, fuck, dude, like four years now? What the fuck? Wow. Crazy. Wacky. Long time. Okay. So, do, 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 do. Maddie B says, I'm sure it's difficult, but I'm glad you started doing more pseudoscience vids. Been here a while, but wanted to say we appreciate the work you do. I appreciate you. BC Brand says, busy working at a con, but wanted to send love. Thank you very much. And Justin Wagman says, Jilly Hype. Jilly Hype indeed, my dude. We've got two videos left. Two videos left for the end of the fucking roundup for this fucking month. Don't go anywhere. Stay subscribed. <laughs> stay here and watching we got two more videos 
I want to give a little bit of lead in for this video uh, because I don't think anybody would ex would expect this to happen on this channel. I have a historical precedent of how much I dislike a very certain YouTuber by the name of Onision. On this channel, you can find uh, my opinion of Onision very readily accessible by me being one of the few people on this planet who have had a chance to in his face explain how much I think he's a giant piece of shit. I fucking hate Onision. I think he is a giant pile of fetid dog shit. But at the same time, I also don't follow trends. I don't make videos about it. I don't try and maximize my profits off of it. But I found a wingnut who talked about Onision in a way that fits the wingnut roundup. And so we're going to watch this fucking video. Okay. <laughs> it's the crossover we never thought was going to happen. But here we go. Let's do it. Let's get crazy. Let's go. That is Onision there. From what I understand, going crazy as a result of losing his Patreon. And he's made a number of videos, like four to be more precise, in the last day. Looking as if he's lost his mind, literally. And this is one of his videos here. Um, as you can tell what kind of makeup he's wearing there. Clearly referring to a certain movie that came out recently called Joker. As you can tell. Uh, not a good sign considering all his other videos here as well where he actually tries to uh i guess i don't know do follow-up videos and then literally lose his mind again i mean seriously <laughs> no joke seriously uh wow wow so you guys are so into yourselves like you are so committed to censoring ruin my entire career do? Oh, well, our opinions have been invalidated so many times of him that we're gonna... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if this dude's acting or if this is literally his his uh, crazy moment. He's already had multiple crazy moments here on YouTube. If you've ever... He's acting. No, he's acting. But uh, fine, fine. Followed this guy, Onision... And he's known to want attention, but I don't know. In this case, considering the fact he lost, basically, from what I understand, where he makes most of his money here, maybe this is actually him breaking down because every single one of these videos is him. In this one, he's actually trying to say sorry, but then he essentially goes back into some crazy rant. I apologize to you guys for being so irrational. I haven't been feeling very good. So if you could, dude, seriously, <laughs> I don't know, man. But I just thought I would talk about this because obviously, if you know, if you've ever followed this guy, especially if you've watched uh, Repsion, I don't know if you guys, I, I have. <laughs> I have very specific uh, critiques about YouTube life, YouTube uh, culture. Um, the reason why I'm very happy to be like pointing this out is this is one of the guys who I previously pointed out is like, uh, he's he's like down and deep with the satanic agenda and the blah 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 and the blah blah blah. Like, fine, okay, cool. He wants to talk about Onision. Fine. Great. Awesome. I'm not facilitating Onision being jumped up in any way. I'm just making fun of this guy in specific. It's gross. 
It's very gross. I don't know, man. This 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 whole thing is just. <sighs> I'm grossed out by it. I'm very grossed out by it. All right, one last thing. One last thing. Oh, thank God. Thank God. This one's way easier. With me and my uh, <clears throat> wine abuse. Nobody can get mad at me for this. This is going to be our last video for the night. God, Justin Wagman says, J Jilly Hype and Randomness says, thanks for the advice. I'll do my best to follow it. I'll be eagerly awaiting next roundup. Stay safe. I'm going to make you a cross stitch soon in thanks. Any theme preferences, feel free to shout them out. Uh, by all means, anytime any, anytime anybody wants to like get a hold of me, uh, my Discord is in the description of this video. You can always jump in. You can always DM me. Easiest way to get a hold of me. Hands down. So, this is our last video for the night. And it has to be because I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm I'm at my rope's end. This is this has gotta be the end for me. I'm just I'm so tired. Let's just do this. Let's do this and we'll have a good time and we'll be done. If you want to radically transform your life and take your health to the next level, click on my Breath is Life course below. This will optimize your breath. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to mute that while you play it. Blah, 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 blah. Kiss my fucking testicles. What's up, everybody? I'm here with the Certified Health Nut. Who are you? And I am Metaphysical Megan. Thanks for joining us today. Which, by the way, uh, so when I was looking at this video originally, getting ready for this uh, this wingnut roundup, this is on Certified Health Nuts channel. And if you look at this shit, if you look down here in the description, he does not link to Metaphysical Megan at all. What a fucking dick. Look. <clears throat> All right. Listen, if you're going to have some random ass girl out there trying to like facilitate and, and exemplify, maybe manufacture some sort of way in which what you're trying to say is consolidated into factual fucking evidence. Some metaphysical fucking Megan going to be out here trying to say like, yeah, what you have to say. Yeah, oh, it's rooted in fucking factual reality. Maybe, just fucking maybe, you fucking rampant cocksucker, you should link to her fucking page. I found her YouTube. I looked at her fucking YouTube. Was it linked in your page? No. No, it wasn't linked in your page, you crispy fucking cocksucker. What's your fucking problem? What the fuck? I managed to do in 10 seconds what you should do for the basic priority for your own entire fucking YouTube profile. What is your problem? Sorry. Th th that bothers me. That makes me really upset. That makes me really fucking fucking mad, dude. Like, these people, they go and they do these, these like, they, they, they work together, they operate together, and then they don't cross-promote each other? It's the most... Lip dick easiest fucking thing in the world to do. It's literally a click and a drag. Right click, copy, paste. And then you're done. That's all you gotta do. And this dude did not copy and paste this poor girl's fucking YouTube profile to this video. What is wrong with this beardo cocksucker? Sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna calm down. We're just gonna we're just gonna enjoy this video. Sorry. I'm going to talk with Troy here about semen retention. And Troy, I hear you mention this sometimes on your page. So what um, information do you have to share about semen retention? And how long have you been practicing it? Or what are the benefits? Yeah, so the first, the first uh, time someone turned me on to sexual kung fu, 
Uh, it was the white tigress teaching, sexual kung fu, tantra, yeah. consciousness really around our sexual energy, Megan. Yeah. And so uh, I had no idea. This person, uh, this was another metaphysical woman that I had met. She was a healer. Uh, and she told me I was leaking sexual energy. And I had no idea what she was talking about. Right. And she told me to get the book, uh, The White Tigress Teachings, which is a very esoteric, you know, ancient Chinese methodology um, of cultivating your chi, building your chi up. It's the first time I heard about cultivating your chi and uh, building your chi up with sexual energy. And so uh, ultimately the essence of it to create more chi, the Jing life force energy in Chinese medicine, uh, when you're out of Jing, you're dead basically. And so uh, what depletes it for women is childbirth and- uh, Menstruation. And menstruation, is it menstruation too? Okay. Um, I know that menstruation also has some positive attributes. Oh yeah, absolutely. For 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 women. Oh uh, my and fucking women have god! Only so many eggs. Wait, wait. So is is menstruation a a a part of the limitation for procreation? Is that a thing? Oh 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 okay oh okay right. right. And ultimately, men have only so many ejaculations because what depletes it in men is ejaculation. Yeah. So. What? No. No. What? No. No. No, you fucking moron. What the f No. You can literally have a motherfucker who is 110 years old as long as he manages to ejaculate a hefty fucking pachon chunk of fucking spermo. That spermo can infect an egg and cause reproduction. No! Men don't have... Oh my fucking... Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. This is gonna make me fucking look... Oh, uh, you know, somebody turned me on, that was 2005, so that's 15 years ago. Uh, approximately 15 years ago, I started studying that. And I instantly, there's certain exercises that you have with your genitalia. Right. And I thought that that, you know, it was all very interesting. Why is she so excited? What is she doing? And also harnessing and being in control of your sexual energy, I thought it was very interesting. And so, and like with any martial arts practice, sexual kung fu sexual is kung a practice. Fu. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it all depends yeah, yeah, yeah. on, you know, how good you get from practicing and yeah. doing your training, whether that's individually and doing your exercises. There's certain stretching and strengthening exercises with the penis. Right. Uh, also, uh, uh, you're supposed to roll your balls. I know one of my uh, teachers told me to roll your testicles the amount of age that you are. Okay. So I'm 54 and so basically uh, to roll them. But I recently, got into uh, another technique called slapping and basically you're you're cupping your nuts and slapping them I usually do it in the cold shower in the okay. cold water yeah and it stimulates the chi and the energy of the te uh, of the testicles yeah and um, you also have uh, I, I I look I am all ears I want to know exactly how much this like stimulates and tactile inspirates there's, they call it the golden fluids, I do yeah. believe. And so you basically, and there's, there's uh, vascular elements there. You can get vascular impingements, uh, circulatory, which is uh, vascular. So uh, there's nerve endings down there and this stuff can get stagnant. Right. And look, this isn't a foreign concept, guys. We've no, none of this is a foreign concept. If for some reason you feel like you have a stagnant motion about your balls, jack off. Jack off. Rub one out. Find some way in which you're just absolutely overall inspired by something and just fucking... <clears throat> just beat your fucking meat off until you explode and release all that fucking tension. 
whatever it is that they're talking about makes no fucking sense. None of this has any basis in reality. Holy fucking frog jumped up Jesus fucking bacon covered Christ this shit. This is awful. No, 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 no. It's terrible. It's terrible. I want to hear more. Hang on, just a little bit more. Scott, I think if you make it over 60 or 70 years old, your death by prostate cancer is like 70, 80%. It's very high. Wow. Uh, and so prostate cancer wow. is a very real thing right now. Yeah. So we want to give a little bit more attention. If you don't want to be a statistic, you want to give a little bit more attention to your genitalia, to your sexual energy. Sexual energy uh, is the most powerful creative force a human being has. Now, nobody right. taught me this in school. Yeah. So I had to figure this out later on, later on in life. And so, uh, so, so basically, the more I ejaculate, the less energy that's going to give me. And right. so I've learned how to cultivate my own energy. You squeeze the perineum. Uh, uh, that makes the... She looks very comfortable in this conversation. Look, I, I'm i going to be honest with you guys. If uh, a certified health nut is one of those guys who finds a certain amount of personal pseudo-sexual power uh, by not ejaculating, well, good for him. Good for him. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It's not my it, it it's not my vibe. Not my vibe at all. I don't understand it. I try to. Um do, 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 do. So Justin Wagman says, "Why is o Onion Boy such a manipulative attention grabbing baby?" Uh we get addicted to easily consumable products. That's why. Uh, Ian Jones, hey Jeff, what happened to your rivet head dreadlocks? I cut them off. I'm sorry. Channel Wolf, Jeff, want you to know that you do make a difference going through malpractice for a son. Found your channel during dark days after his death. Uh, thanks to your channel and the roundup. You help keep us laughing and strong. I hope so. Um, man. Fuck. Man. That's a tough one. Um, <clears throat> I do hope uh, that maybe it, uh, in in the worst case scenarios, I can at least provide something that uh, distracts away from something that could be horribly traumatic. You know, Maddie Virginia says this is a list of stuff people how to get off of. Oh, sure, sure. Jay Reynolds says, wait, what was the one also an audience participate? I, I don't know. I don't know. Very hard to say. Memory. Let me call memory in real quick. Because all this, all of this, this crazy, crazy wingnut shit that we've been doing this entire evening. Mm, too much. Too much. It's too much. Shut them all down. I thought I heard my name go yep. I did. You did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Give me a hug. Everybody, thank you very much for an awesome Wingnut Roundup for February. Uh, February was. Rough. Really rough. Really rough. Really terrible. Uh, I have a lot of things that I have to deal with uh, coming off of it. And hopefully soon it will bear fruit to something really awesome from it. But, uh, yeah, that's the end. That's it. That's done. You going to uh, post your promo after the roundup? Should I put it on the... Uh... I think you should put it on your channel so that... The people that haven't been able to catch the stream can watch it and get hyped, and they can all share it with their friends and family and get hyped. So when it comes out, and you should do a premiere so that you can watch it live with all your lovely. 
You're probably right. Mm -hmm. You're I probably know I'm right. right. Other planets that okay. I've created <laughs> in the solar system are doing very well. We'll do that tomorrow then. We'll do that tomorrow. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Dragonga just finished getting my platinum trophy for best saber on PS4. Very proud of myself. What the fuck did I just turn into? Nothing. Just the end of it. That's the end. That's all. That's just it. Nothing more. Nothing else to be gleaned from this. Did I miss the egg? I didn't play the egg. We didn't have the egg to play the egg. Do we have to have an egg to play the egg? Yeah, we do. Okay. Next, next next month. Time. Next month. You, get, you guys get to see the egg next time. You get to see the egg next <laughs> month. Yeah, it's fine. It's all right. It's good. It's good. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, no. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. Good night. We love you. Yeah.